Bible Talk. So join Daddy Root and Lady Cleo on a Friday night, 9 to 12, for Real Talk, the show where we discuss all that's real and nothing ideal, only on Styles FM. Good night, good night, good night, everybody. We know it's not an easy road, but... Tonight we are in studio at Styles FM Radio and can I tell you it's going to be a very very easy and wonderful show to go through tonight because not only are we happy to be alive but we are happy that Mark Bujo Banton Myriad Gargamel is eventually finally free and free at last so we are going to be having a great time as Jamaicans tonight we want to celebrate help, help him celebrate and of course welcome him home where he can continue to bring and bring forth such great Jamaican authentic reggae music so big ups to Bujo Banton on his release and we're glad he's home where he belongs all right Tonight, we welcome you one and all, wherever you are. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the, across the world tonight. We welcome you to Styles FM Radio, and we say welcome to Real Talk. It's the show where we discuss everything real and nothing ideal. And your hosts tonight are Daddy Rude and yours truly, Lady Cleo. Our engineering studio is Cassidy. And we are going through those numbers for you. Remember, if you want to call us as we go throughout the show, please feel free to do so. The local number is 876-453-1444. That's 876-453-1444. And if you're overseas and wish to call, that number is 954-338-7973. 954-338-7973. And let me say to all those who are watching via the World Wide Web tonight, hey, from the two of us, oh, from Lady Cleo and maybe... <laughs> Daddy Rude, who doesn't want anybody to know he's here, right? In the nights. Okay, so we go to our social media people right now, and we want to large you all up so much. We are presently having a live feed on Facebook, so you can go to Styles FM 96.1 on Facebook, check out the fan page, and you will see the feed, and leave a comment as you feel free, all right? Um, on Twitter, check us out at StylesFM961. On Instagram, follow us at StylesFM. And for YouTubers, you can go to the YouTube page and see the post-dated shows, right? So tonight's show will be posted on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. And please also remember to download those apps. Styles FM Jamaica is one of them, and Styles FM Radio is the other. So download so you can have us wherever you go. Yeah. And our on the go on the go numbers, Daddy Rude, who is now here. Do you say, sir? Well, all right. <laughs> Stars bop, FM bop. on the go numbers for United States. Bujo <laughs> in the building. I don't really want to do nothing for, the, nothing for do with the United States, but to the work. <laughs> 712. 832. <laughs> too many two. 2772. <laughs> and in the UK. 033. And too many two. <laughs> Doing the jail thing, you know. <laughs> Canada. Six. Four seven. Nine five seven. Nine six. Seven. Nothing to do with seven eleven. Straight yard, jail chicken. Scoop, scoop, scoop. <laughs> Still no pork. <laughs> And it's no joke. <laughs> you know what, people? <laughs> I think I call him Daddy Rude too early because really and truly, his imitation of Buja Banton is ideal. It's off the chains tonight. <laughs> That's Daddy Rude for you right now, people. I think he has started me on the laughing thing too early. Too early, too early. That was good, by the way. I must tell you, that was really good. <laughs> You're an idiot, but that was really good. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Big ups to um, sh uh, sugar. 
Uh, same name, Laura, part of the name slipped me out because I'm rushing in here. Um, the taxi driver who I went into the vehicle and his thing is stuck on 96.1. Pick up yourself. Him say everybody down here are know who him is, right? So I know the DJs must know who he is. Sugar, sugar driver, sugar, running the route from Port Antonio to, I guess, Boundbrook in the night here, all right? Keep it safe on the roads, of course. And to all the other taxi drivers who, wherever you are, you're listening in right now, you're locked in, whether you're in St. Mary, Portland, St. Anne, St. Thomas. Yep. Welcome to the show. Big ups to Chichi, locked in our little shop right now, tuning in to some real nice music. I'm sure she must be on Styles FM right now and tuning into Real Talk. So Chichi and Belinda and the crew, big up on herself every time. Chichi, I love her, is it? Like seriously, yeah man. Cool, cool piece of girl, yeah? Cool, no? All right. So, Daddy Rude. Yep. Tonight. Every time. Chichi, I love her. How you doing? I'm kind of tired because I find myself for the past couple of... You know, normally when I roll up from, from, from the, the western end of the island, I get even one hour of sleep, but boy, it now work, no, work up for the past couple of weeks at all, tall, 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 mm. tall. So, through, through the energy of the people, we prevail, you know, through yes, the three definitely. hours of the show. Definitely. Enough of time, I be, I, I, it's a pity them to know that enough of time me in here I struggle with the struggle, sleep, you know. I tell you, boy. I tell you, boy. I tell you. <laughs> so, you know, we just go on all our vibes and all our meds and give thanks, you know, um, to Mark Myrie. Yep. You know, for him freedom, and we just look for wonderful music from wonderful, him. Wonderful. Continue you know, wonderful music. You know, he's one of the youth them where they change the landscape of dance oh, yeah. hall in oh, the 90s, yeah. so... You know, I grew with him. We, we anticipate. Yeah. yeah, there's an era that that followed Bojo Banta. Yeah. Right. So we anticipate. Say, you know, he might continue doing great things. I'm mm -hmm. not. I'm. I'm not gonna over. Um, well, I'm not gonna like say look for this big euphoric. You know, a euphoria type of thing from him. But he might just continue doing good music. Yeah, I think so. Because you know the the, the way how. The music business is nowadays, and even with a lot of a, a lot of uh, radio networks, and forget your songs played. Mm. No matter who you are, you not know, for the people that are going in a struggle, not for the producers that are producing music are going in a struggle. You know what? You know what thing re go already. Once you email the music to sales FM, it must play. So I just saw the things set. Scoop, scoop, you scoop. know, so we are and one one station. We do, we do things on a balance level. Once the music good, quality is good, it's gonna be played. And I, I can tell you, I've always loved him from on more more than one levels. Um, he looks like my brother. Okay. Yeah, so he's a sp like almost like a split. So, 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 so you, you say love him like a brother. I love him. Period. No, you said more than one levels. On le yes, on, on different levels. Right. Yeah, so now you love, love one of musician. them. One of them you love him like a brother. Yes, man. Musician. And you love him music. Yes. Is there any other level? Yes, man. Talk All the levels, them man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've, the, the only time I've ever been like mad at him was when he did um, one, the first song about Browning. Browning. No, my God. And I was, hold on, man. No, I'm say, yo. No. Oh, you no. mean no? Tell you where you make a mistake. When you go to a store mm -hmm. right, and you go buy Browning, what's the complexion? <laughs> That not make you know, you know, and you see it. Oh. No, you can go for me to turn a different color still. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the only glitch I remember ever having with Bojo. Was like, oh, if you do not sing the Anna do not for we, I don't understand Bojo. What if not stop and before crying? Before I knew it, man, I said, oh, I was in love with him all over again because he just came with it. Yeah. Our song, you know which the chocolate tune, girl song. You, you know which tune, <laughs> the Bojo Bantan will always be there. Which one? Nothing. Stamina, Daddy. Cho, cho. Me know, me know you know. Me know that I'm not surprised about. you would have gone there. Right. But I, I'm, I'm fond of. So hold on, you know, like that one there. Yes, you, we need, we need that. <laughs> <laughs> and Whoa. nothing. I love nothing. I love nothing. Nothing too ordinary. Nothing big up yourself, cheap. Kevin. Big up yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Mad. Yeah, Kevin, Marlene, Maxine, Lisa, my girl, Lisa. Big up to my godmother right now. And of course, my family over there in St. Thomas. Diane in Atlanta, Georgia. And yep. Vivian locked in every single week. I tell you, big ups to you. Mo Mommy Diane. I don't remember mommy's name right now, but you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to tell you something. 
about Lisa after the break. All right. It's right. now 9.30 peeps. And, and Lisa uh, in Atlanta, may I talk about? <laughs> I left it to Lisa tonight, here. Yeah? I left it to Lisa. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services, and Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. We soon come. Yep. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent? Seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car or having a garage sale? Then come see us. Let Styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Advertising style. Advertise with styles. Business operators, local and overseas. This announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. D.I.B. 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 Rock. D.I.B. has your paints in stock throughout this Christmas and all the year through. D.I.B. has the paints for you. Yes, and now until December 31st, visit any D.I.B. location and save up to 30% off Berger Magicoat. Get a gallon of Berger for as low as $1,330. Get up to 20% off your favorite brand. of paint tools. Find these savings at D.I.B. Buff Bay, D.I.B. St. Margaret's Bay, D.I.B. William Street, and D.I.B. Home Center West Farm. This Christmas, don't miss out on this massive paint sale at D.I.B. Hardware and D.I.B. Home Center. That's cause D.I.B. Rock. D.I.B. We do it best. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome yep. back to Real Talk, ladies and gentlemen, tuning in to the sounds of Daddy Rude and Lady Cleo. And of course, we just welcome home the Gargamel himself. Yeah, and we see the sentiments being expressed by our friends on the WhatsApp connection. Yep. So Kevin says, Gargamel in the building. Yeah, man, every time. And Rambo. Hi, Rambo. You know, the lady, <laughs> the lady part is for me and the German part is for Daddy Rude. Yeah. <laughs> now, Vlet, I'm going to ask you from now to ensure you post my cake. Please, Miss Navlet, um, in Canada, right? Send it through the plane. I don't know, something, somehow, somewhere. Send it come, please. Yeah. I, uh, let me make a suggestion to you, Navlet. Send the don't recipe to clear. No, I don't want a recipe. I know the recipe. Then go make your own. Stop baking a long time. I don't have a time. Then I expect to eat none. No, I can't manage the more baking. I used, I used, I used to bake all twice for the Christmas. But I get old now. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold and on. Hold the on. time not there hold now. On, hold on, look. Yes, Cassie, look with, on me. With, with, <laughs> with all due respect, 
<clears throat> Kate Mix and a bacon here. It's not Kate Mix. Don't do that. And a bacon. This girl has her mm. first degree in food and health, you know. It doesn't mean nothing. It means a lot. It doesn't mean nothing. It means I had to work it my can, tail off to get it. But it also means that you could have the copy. Copy what? Of we make the cake? Yes. Oh, if we make the, the, um, all the pastries and stuff and the ice cream and all these things. Where the other kids they make, I just use them. No, man. Make them butter. I have to do your own thing, star. So, mama, so I'm looking for my cake, you hear, honey? You can't make donut? No, I've never made, we never made donut. But if I get okay. a recipe, I should be able to. But how you can't talk? I thought you'd know how to make things with the thing in the middle. With the hole? Do you know how to make donut? No. Okay. But the red, red? <laughs> that comes naturally. I'm talking about donuts. <laughs> I'm talking about donuts. I will bring it. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. She's coming for Christmas. That's right, sister. Mm hmm. Oh, boy. And I'll tell you where to find me. You can find me right here, too. Or, yeah. Somewhere else where he won't be to get a piece of my cake. Well, the, the, the good part or the bad part is for some reason I don't fancy pastry. My daughter loves it, but you I don't. You don't love Christmas cake? No. Nah. Just pastry in general, no matter so what. So bring it, come, Miss Novelette. Bring it right here you to know? Stars then. Even the other day, even the other day, <laughs> they, they, they had bake sale at, at my workplace. You did not place. support mine. And 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 I, I normally do, don't I? Yes. But well, I think yes, I yes. think this time I was not advised of it. Until late. This time I was well, not advised it, of it, it. You can't give it for next. It's true. I it slipped me. Okay. Yes, it slipped so me. So apologize true. in public to the <laughs> public. Okay. Be nice. Don't bear germs. <laughs> That's your name. I can't get to nobody else. <laughs> so I'm looking for my forward to meeting Novelette too. Not only getting her cake, but to but more importantly to meet her. I, I want to do a con make, make, make a confession because the bake sale was for a worthy cause, and I really and truly didn't support it because I don't eat pastry. And I you don't have to eat it. Give it to Karen. Nah, I I, I think. The particular day that it was on was the day when I would, which would have been on a Friday. Okay. Yeah, so it wouldn't have okay. been. Okay. All right. You know? So, big ups to King Mitchell exiting the building. Yep. <laughs> All righty. You know? Yeah. All so, right. But w with Lisa now, the relationship with, with me and Lisa kind of get boring because we agree. Lisa said, don't call her name, you know. Is, is she, you know, she's talking in Atlanta. All right, with Issa then. Issa. <laughs> right? <laughs> me and Issa. Relationship get boring oh, when I quarrel again. <laughs> we we, we kind of agree, it kind of amicable, but you know, exciting. Oh, you know okay. what I mean? So it's almost like a marriage, you know, where we, we just get steal out. <laughs> so, right now, oh, God. I want a divorce. <laughs> Lisa, she's right? typing. You two <laughs> might have it out tonight. A divorce, we mash up. Not now nah, go on and for what way. she has to say. Me, you know, call the screen go blank. All the screen blank out because that, 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 that is like us now. The, 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 the screen went blank. It's dark right? on your sides. On her side. It, on both of right? you. No, on I'm yours. always. I, I'm no, on Lisa's no, side. I can't no, stay no, there. No, 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 no. Lisa, I'm no, 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 Follow you tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Remember, I know, Zane, it's like the only thing good I know, make your colleague at Atlanta. And I don't want to go there. <laughs> You right? Stay yeah, back. man. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes, 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 yes. You know? Oh, so, boy. we kind of want the thing mash up so we can get back to the, the good old days. It kind of look a bit too, you know? I don't believe in divorce, she says. So, sorry for you. Lord You're mercy. stuck. Stuck on you. Yeah, I'm sitting more powerful than stupids because I never know stupids. <laughs> I never know stupids. I never know stupids. I never know stupids. I never know Oh but Lord! <laughs> it's been a lovely week, I think. You know, not without the usual workplace drama. Mm. But I tell you something, I have one of the jobs that that is not the conventional type. It's it's not boring. You, you cannot be bored. There's always unexpected circumstances coming up. Funny enough, right? mine too. Well, you expect the unex you expect unexpected things to happen, but you just don't know, you just don't know what it is. Mm. So, you know, it's kind of nice, ish. My well, my job is the same, pretty much, and um. No, you make got, lesson plan, and you just go to school. And, no, 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 my and, kids, and, 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 my kids and, and, are. And boy, then get trouble, and you just bias, bias against the guys, them for the girls. <laughs> no, you I know, mean, no, you know. it's typical. No, my 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 kids are. They give some trouble sometimes. In terms of you have to be talking mm -hmm. repeatedly, but they're they're really fun. One little one came this morning today and said, "Miss, if I get cut yet," and I said, "Yes, 
because she got a cut from the chair earlier. Okay. That I was telling her not to trouble it because her fingers might be dirty and stuff. So she supposed to leave it alone. So when she came to my table to sit on my little chair beside my desk, and she put her hand on her, her, her face, and she said, mm. you ever get cut yet? I said, yes. So all your skin's so pretty. <laughs> I could not believe that that was what she was coming with. I Did just you had blush? To start. Oh, of course I blushed. <laughs> that's innocence and truth. That's really nice. That's innocence and truth. I think, that, I think, I think that's nice, but I guess she doesn't say the chippy chippy. Why you say but? Eh? Why you have to say but? <laughs> you just know, that's you nice know, I have no chippy chippy for your knee. I don't remember. Must it sound yeah when you look up yeah, in there? Yeah, no, that man said. You never, you never get Tim Bim? Huh? Tim Bim. What's that? You don't know Tim Bim? No. Jesus wept. So, you never get none of them cut there with a the scab, they pan it up, but if mm -hmm. you squeeze it, post the underneath it. Oh, is that name, sir? No. I saw it name. Tim Bim are the one where the ginky fly follow. Jesus, no. I, all I, I never all had those. Have Tim Bim. I never you had get those. Tim Bim. All of we get it, get, get it sore where the ginky fly follow. Jesus. Please, no, oh, you never know, say, King of Fly. What, what kind of fly you call it? We don't know we are talking about. We never seen no fly for nothing when we did it. Let me ask you a question. Fly have a pitch by your lip yet? Don't, don't, don't. Let me ask a question there again. We're going to get mad all over again. You know what? Let's go into today. Oh, my God. Let's go in. Every time you ask that question, I go, ugh. Yeah, but. It's just, uh, No, oh, but if, man. If, 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 you never, if you never get one, one <laughs> team bin, right? I think Gingy I swallowed fly. sunfly already. We're getting a flight. I just kept on <laughs> coughing, coughing, coughing. <laughs> and you want that flight to just come back up and it just would not, not come back. Yeah. You don't know where it's gone. It's just gone somewhere down there. Man. Everybody get Team Beam. You get Team Beam already, Cass? <laughs> yeah. You get Team Beam too. You just don't want to talk. So, I, mean, I don't the, know what Team Beam is and when you tell me what it was, I never get it. The, the you get child. a cut, yes, and, and it and it fessed up and whatever, but Tim, Tim, Tim what? Tim Bim. No. It doesn't sound like one Tim Mackerel. Why do people have Tim Mackerel in the car? Let me tell you, that is the extreme oh of all things of one sort could have been. All right. What about Fassi? You get Fassi? What's that? One next type of Tim Bim. They call it Fassi too. Oh, like a black spot? Sore. We broke out fussy. I have boil I had boil and it burst and kinda come like on sore or sort of. Which part get boiled? Boil from my leg. Abscess. Same thing. You know abscess? No, boil when you get under your arm. When it's a small pregnant for you. Me never get none of that. Wax and can when wax and wax and can like when you have a team beam. Look when, here. When now. you have a team beam. Can you get normal cotton but when you have a team beam, you get the wax and canal. Lymph node, then call it then. Yeah, I have that. I've got that under my arm already, and you can't put on your hand. You have to stay so And under my arm, you get for me. How is that? We know what. We know what. No. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can get, imagine. We, we, we get couple ladies, walks. we can imagine. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we get a couple of walks on canal well. A couple it, of them well. Something about the groin I hear people say they get them. Yeah, the man, groin. I just all of them them go. So you walk. You know, you know walk. You know walk. You have to just walk. Did you walk normal? No, I didn't tell you, little boy. You know, it doesn't want them to see you walk with your feet them wide open. Oh, but up. Brr. Don't talk. <laughs> Call her on the 453. Good night and welcome to Real Talk. Chichi saying hi. This is? Yes. Chichi? Oi. Pick up yourself, Chichi. Old dog. <laughs> I'm, waiting to, I'm waiting to air Bojo Driver. I can't wait. Me run, turn up my sound. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chichi. Who <laughs> <laughs> so can do for you here? Who not me link, you know? Not say a word, my boss. All right, Madly. Chichi. Pick up yourself, my girl. Yes, darling. Have a good night now. All right. You too. Thanks yeah. for calling in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. Chichi, not easy. I tell you. Nah, man. When you're a little boy, all kind of things reach you. You know, say, I seen sweet me and mom's a reason. And them say you must know people background before you get in a relationship with them. And me I learned some something about my mom since week. Yeah. And I'm a <laughs> Jano star. If me didn't know them thing, then. You wouldn't bother my tour? Oh, my man. Are you said still? <laughs> 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 Listen. I hope Miss J is watching her listening right Listen. now. So we are run know through. what to do with him when he gets home. We are, we, we, we are run through a list of things. <laughs> we, 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 we you catch when you have picnic. Right? <laughs> and when mom's done run through, so I'm sitting there, I said to myself, a genuine star. <laughs> <laughs> Leave 
Karen, alone. Listen, what? Me is lower. Um, it's a disease that I guess I don't I don't know the I'm not sure the symptoms of it. I don't mm. remember the symptoms right now. But in the name so I never remember what the name. In, in catch mums. That's when you hear in catch stuff. in catch um. <laughs> where is it name? A, a yellow. Where is it name? Yellow fever. Why is she she she, she says she got a doctor for something like polio? My I don't know. Must be measles. And there was some outbreak down at Savlamar as some one of the mosquito borne disease there. Oh. So when she got when when she got a clinic clinic or hospital, whatever feet, all the people did it with it. Mm-hmm. And when, and by, no fault of hers? by the time he reached home, he got that. Oh Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> she went for one and came up with another. <laughs> yeah. See in get instead of a bad case of eczema. See in? So me I said, come here talk to him and say, boy, yo, look on the pit nowadays, all them are born with yep, them practically are born with eczema. And I said, I'm sure say me never have them sitting there with me, a boy. Not eczema. Not like that. But e- eczema is an is a condition regarding re- the skin, I Rock think. out, yeah. Yeah, but that's no control of anybody. Well, me not know in a mind, but me tell you, I never have it. Enough for with time. What you didn't have? But me? Well, tell us what you had, because you must have well, something, well, you know. Yeah, so man. Hold it for something you must have, you know. Yeah, man. So you're bad now? I tell your boy. What you didn't have? Tell no, us. Well, I'm not t- me I'll tell you one woman have, and what me have in it, have it too. You see? I'll <laughs> tell you one woman have. I'm going to try and remember what I have. I'll catch, I'll me, me, me show me get chicken pox already. But I, that, I but, never but, got that. But, but a tree bone, I'll get, get that when I got to college. Hmm. I get, um, never had that one. I'll get the sitting one here, man. What do they say, name again? They, they say, if you catch that, you all can't get no youth. Huh? Yeah, man. Where is it name? I'm not um, sure which one. Moms. I never had that. Me get moms. I never had no moms. Right? Because me know I bridge right now where in, in, in get a little moms and them I say, boy, I trace back. They want to say, boy, I show the moms make you never get all no youth. Yet. And, but me get moms. You have two youth. Well, I want to tell you not only that potency is up. <laughs> so put me there catch your moms. <laughs> me the right, just right now, your gums are boop. Zane, you want to owe that up. Don't a loony tune. <laughs> so put me never get the mums. Oh my goodness. Whoa, the up. What did you have? What else me get? Uh, me get the mums. Me get lice. Jeez, uh, me never get <laughs> that. Catch, you never catch lice. So you still say, you know? You never have a knit in your head. No, you nothing like knit. that. You must be mad. You must catch lice. No, I didn't know why. Everybody catch what? lice. Cass, you didn't catch no, lice? No, me never catch you no catch lice. lice. Cass, thank, thank, a company oh, you want. Say? This company no, you want. No, sir, me, get, me have lice. Me never have no lice. You know lice. Because guess what? I'm so afraid of even Danjov. Me hate the Danjov. No, man, you don't so get lice. So God didn't know, saying, so can't afford even give me like I'm that dead. How oh, you don't get lice? How you get it? Well, <laughs> <laughs> then turn the light, hey, then, then turn there, you know. You have to wash your head. You have to wash your head in some hot, hot water to kill all the knit them. You know knit? No. Knit are the, are the, are the lice you egg. My head starts to catch me. Stop, so, man. So, so you will catch all the lice. I catch pink eye. Uh, you must catch pink eye. No. I catch pink eye a couple of times. Because they say if you catch it one day, you can't catch it again. But I'm sure I catch pink eye at least two times. I did a run run answer, run water, watery, but. Why is we catch? Why is we catch? They caught everything that they was to catch. Well, I don't burn with asthma. They caught it all, man. And you have complaint about Miss J? In catch more than me. Kick like a spot. In catch more than me. Why is we catch? Come here, I said, John, no star. Then I saw you come here, man. No one. <laughs> <laughs> I try to remember what else I catch. Uh, oh my goodness. I must catch something else, man. I oh must catch something else. Because I'm sure it ain't ever tap this Ladies up. and gentlemen, I can tell you, there comes the final conclusion as to why Daddy Road is who he is today. He <laughs> caught all those things, and of course, some side effects have been left. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not getting the chicken gun, yeah, I'm not getting the Zika. I oh, made it, I made I it, made it, made it there a ground bee, zero because a ground zero, a center must then say, um, it chi- start, chicken chi- gonna uh, start. I mean, yeah. I me, me never, me, me never catch that. Probably when the mask then see me with the amount that sit with in me. They said, boy, no, they said, this is one you will contaminate with. We <laughs> <laughs> can stay right <laughs> in there. <laughs> right? So, me never catch that one there. <laughs> but, I don't know. Older oh. people catch older things when, when, Marie, they, when, when they might grow. Marie said, me never catch a lies clear. Him, him did nasty. <laughs> <laughs> lie with dog, you must catch. <laughs> Marie, never catch no lies that I am love. And to oh, him did get trouble. He will catch anything that no, was out there. No, me never, me, ne, me never get trouble. Me can't tell you. Me I never know. He's no, a no, bad boy. No, sir. No, 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 I never bad pitney. No, 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 
care. I don't know about that. I don't know about that part there. No. Oh, Lord. You, you see, right now, right now, me is like a little Christian youth. Praise Jesus. See, when me all day at work and people come at my workplace all the time, they say, you're a Christian, you look like a man of God. Mm-mm. You know what Did I mean? Did they say that? Of course, up to last week. <laughs> they not so. seen good. Right, up to last people week. people, them, oh my. They see me, so when they see me now, they say, a nice little youth, you know, so boy, it's like youth, yeah. Hmm. There's a calling for oh, me, you know. praise Lord. And when I come in with my little Bible, I read, 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 read my little book when I when get from the people, and I never know what kind of worship they worship, and I tell them, woman, for respect, man, mm-hmm. I want to burn me out. I'm oh. calling that. Yeah. So, what are you calling? Woman for respect, man. That's uh, that. That's uh, my thing. Um, the, the, the church of woman for respect, man. Yeah, yeah. For, yeah come on to church. I invite you to church. Oh, yeah, that. Yes, you want one of them. You want one. Not that one. Another one. <laughs> Where the the equality church. Is spread. No. And, and taught. No. Yes. No. No. You know, say so I just yesterday we are all a reason and a female said there's a place in the Bible said there's a woman before Eve. I want to find a part there. I don't want to find it. Right? Yet. And, and, an next female who is a practiced preacher from overseas say, yes, Eve did sleep with Lucifer. Right? Lucifer was the first experience for Eve and is the beginning of sin. This is a female pastor. So, all of them sitting there now, we never got too, too elaborate, pan. Right. You know, because <laughs> once I get it from this, you know, you know oh, say. Oh, my goodness. You know what, people? <laughs> <laughs> we are going to go into our box. But if I follow this man tonight, you see, we have a mashup show tonight. We are going to go into our box pop idea for tonight. And I'm, I'm asking you, please, feel free. We crave your indulgence. Yes, we do. That's so nice. You say it again. <laughs> <laughs> that the rude they catch crab blows? Uh oh. No, I never catch the one there. Carl Sitnells. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. That was coming from the text line. I didn't even see that one earlier. All right. So this one is from the Vox Pop. Hello. How prepared are you to be a stepmom or stepdad, including. To discipline your stepchild. Hmm. How prepared are you to take on the role of step mom, step dad? Or just say added, added dad and added mom. Hmm. Including to discipline your stepchild. Yeah. That we are When about. getting into a relationship, should consideration be given as to whether or not the person has kids or other responsibilities and obligations? Mm-hmm. Mm. When getting into a relationship, should you consider be should consideration rather be given as to whether or not the person has kids or other responsibilities and obligations? Mm. And if you are of the view if you are of the view that your stepchild is resentful towards you, hmm. <laughs> how would you treat such a relationship? Hmm. So, <clears throat> how prepared are you? I, I, hmm. Is anyone ever really prepared so much? Because... And, and, when, and, and if, if some people will say, yes, when do you start the preparation process? Because if you meet a man and, or a woman and you discover that, oh, I'm really drawn to this person, I'm really into him or into her, and you discover as you go along that the person has a child or children, hmm. do you now say, okay, I lo- I'm, I'm liking this man, I'm drawn to this man or this woman, they intrigue me, I want to get to know them better. I think as time progresses, I want to get into a relationship with them. So do you say to yourself, okay, this is the point where I go do, do some crash course as hmm. to how to be a stepmom or they a stepdad. Do it. I don't think people do that. So it's a case where over time, and some people's time, over time are longer than some, yeah? So over time, you interact and there should be a process where, you know, you try to get to know the child, the stepchild, but is it a case where you can ever really be prepared, prepared? Because sometimes these roles just 
they come. They gradually come. And worse, if, if you already have a child, nobody really stops to say, I'm going to have to go read up how to deal with um, is another man's child or another woman's children, you hmm. know? I and I don't think that happens. I mean. So the person now who doesn't have any children, do they also stop and say, let me go do some course as to how to deal with teenagers, I how mean. to deal with um, toddlers? I mean. Do they do that? Better. No, I don't think people do that. I don't think people do that. And then, it, it, it can be a very, very rough and, and, and a difficult situation All to right. be in. No, you attack. Yes, because you have people who, they meet the man or the woman and they're getting, getting it on. Nice, things nice. The children will interact, yes. But the moment anything from a discipline comes into play, and that child will tell mommy, say, um, daddy, I have one lady, I yard there. And she slap me on my hand mm -hmm. when we do so and so and so and so and so. Mm -hmm. Chances are you have some mothers. All when she knows they're picking wrong, might want to flip and carry on because I fear I where she lick him for. She have to put her hand on my picnic <laughs> and that kind of thing. They do. Ah, uh, so, yeah? so how prepared are you? It, it, and, and how no, prepared and are no, you? It has to boil down now to the other the biological parent and how they are going to set certain um, the expectations. The biological parent, what do you mean? The father of the child, the real father of the child or okay, the real mother. Okay, okay. So you'd expect them to, to, to sit and to have some form of dialogue and discussions as to let the child understand what position the stepmother is now in, what mm. role she's now in, and the, the authority that she would have over this particular child. Yeah. You're right? And the same for the, for the, on the other side. But let me ask a question. At what point, at what point then, would you consider or accept that role or that, um, what do you call it, that name? Mm hmm Title. That title. Mm hmm That you are a stepmom or a stepdad. At what point? Because... If if it says how, if it says how prepared are you to be a stepmom, uh, uh, um, including discipline child, but a stepmom or a stepdad, before you even reach for discipline the child, how prepared are you? That would have been have to be something before you even in a relationship or any relationship. Right, because there are people who say that they're not dealing, they're not going there. Ah, it have to be a mindset. Mind yeah. Right. So in case something like this for coming in my life, mm -hmm. these are crosses, yeah. <laughs> or would you treat it as a blessing? It's a blessing. This, this blessing. Kids are blessing, right? Mm. <laughs> teach. Kids are blessing, right? Amen. Okay, teach. <laughs> Clear. Kids are blessing, right? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but, but as it relates to... Um, I've been in the, the road before. Mm. And I never entered it saying... With a preconceived no notion? Yeah, I didn't. To be honest, I... Yeah knew that the children were there. Yeah. And but, I just found but, myself but trying to were you, were be... You, were you prepared? I, I don't think I needed much preparation because I was already a mother. Okay. So the role of being an extended uh, mother but, figure, but, but, so to but, speak, but, 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 I'm glad was it, quite easy. I'm glad you, I'm glad you say that. Just that um, do, you think it, do you think it should be a balance, though? Because, say... You, 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 with your experience and even with teaching, because be, be, right. be, being a teacher is almost like you're, 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 you're yeah, a mother. you're a mother in the day for these kids. Right, for these kids. So you would have had, you would have been, you, you are prepared. You, I am prepared. You are bred for this, man. <laughs> you, you went to class for this. You should have a problem. I'm being paid for this. <laughs> yeah. You should have a problem. So all a man, we have three, four, five, ten. Anyway, Excuse let's not go me? there. We're going to reach a party. Okay. You see? So, but <laughs> in terms of, in terms of you having that edge in my opinion yes maybe so would you have thought then that the, the, your partner would have had that said kind of um greeting then or, or or acceptance internally of you being a mother and your child he should <coughs> he should because if you love the cold as them say you must love the car no no the no 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 well, let me let me correct myself yeah let me put it better if you start off with a cow, you must accept the fact that this cow, when you met the cow, had calves before or calves. a calf. <laughs> or had a calf. So 
you know, the analogy is, if you're going to love the mom and appreciate the mom and accept the mom, then I would expect that you, within yourself, is going to say, okay, she has a child, and it's for me to try to build a relationship with this child. It's simple. Oh, well, look, you know. <laughs> so 10 o'clock. So what are you going to do? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. When, when I 10 come 10 back, I deal with you. The time brought to you by VG Printing Services. Part of one again, can you get me out? Right? And Real Talk <laughs> sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. <laughs> Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Yes, Massive, the big, big weekend is here. Styles of Fun will be live on location this Saturday with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Yeah, got me a top boat at Portland Paradise Weekend Sunbreak at Somerset Falls, Hope Bay, Portland from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Be a part of the excitement as they meet, greet, eat, and mingle. Yes, Daddy Rude and Lady Cleo will meet, greet, eat, and mingle at the ultimate breakfast party. You can't afford to miss it. Remember, it's a live outside broadcast from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Styles FM. It's Portland Paradise Weekend Sunbreak at Somerset Falls, Hope Bay, Portland. Good day, driver. You notice that you're parking in a no parking zone. You know, so you can get a ticket for this, sir. Really, officer? But just want to pick up some hardware supplies, you know. Do me a bit, you give me a blind, huh? So if you need hardware supplies, why you don't go to Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware? Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware, 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland. We stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town. At Ramtula's Hardware, experience the three C's, comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware, opens 8 a.m. to midnight, seven days per week. Call 715-5132. Email ramtulasupercenter at gmail.com. Remember, we have the best prices in town. town, town. You don't know this is crazy Tina. We're representing for the adrenaline rush with a musical ingenious digital tea. Saturdays right here on Styles FM. You don't know. 48 to make the date and don't be late. You understand? Because the new arts and new music segment is from 5 to 6. So make sure you're there and the girls there. I tell him I burn up the place. It's not left no space. Don't miss it. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook, Styles FM 96.1. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Adele Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome yep. back to Real Talk, and it's the show, yes, where we discuss everything real and nothing ideal mm -hmm. right here on Styles FM. You're hearing the sounds of Lady Cleo and... Smarty Road. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Smarty Road is that... That Smarty Road is Daddy Road. And I want to say, it comes to my friends who are rolling home... And tuning in, shout outs to Dwight right now who is tuning in to Star. Can anyone tell me FM? Can anyone tell me what date next year is gonna be Fan Fusion? I'm trying to remember. The first the first um Saturday. <laughs> Lord, <laughs> can somebody look on their calendar? Because my phone, it's it's a set. I have it's, phone it issues is, again. It is always a oh Saturday boy. after. Jerk Festival. After the first? No. La this year, Jerk Festival was on a Sunday. Okay. 
Isn't that the second Saturday in the month? No. It's not? No, because the Sunday this year was the first. The 13th? That can't be right. Yes, so the 13th of July will be Fan Fusion. Hmm. Yes. Prepare. Why so late now? <clears throat> no, it, it would have been the 13th this year, wouldn't it, Cassidy? If you look on the, th the date this year, it would have been the 13th. I but go off on holidays. The, what's the first Friday, sir? The first Friday is the 5th. Mm -hmm. And I go all the way to the 13th for Fan Fusion? Mm-hmm. <sighs> so, people, yep. <clears throat> okay. I are, I are planning already. <laughs> I are thinking. My friend Mel and so, Rochelle, the couple we d I did the wedding with, yes. Um, they, I remember Mel saying, he was hearing about this fan fusion from way up. <laughs> so, you know, he had, actually was asking about fan fusion, fan fusion, fan fusion. So, and um, Dwight also heard about fan fusion coming right down to the nitty gritty of it all. So yep. promotion is very important, very good. That's true. Yeah. And hard and tiring. <laughs> and when everyone is home, we're still out there working, cleaning up the people's mm. property. Property, yeah. Yep. Yeah. For them to have their business on the Monday. Mm -hmm. As all if right. we weren't there. <laughs> back to the picnic business and all. Yes, so we go back to our Vox Pop. And for those who might just be joining us, welcome to the show. And let me share with you the Vox Pop one more time. How prepared are you to be a stepmom or stepdad, including to discipline your stepchild? When getting into a relationship, should consideration be given to, given rather, to, <clears throat> let me go again. When getting into a relationship, should consideration be given as to whether or not the person has kids or other responsibilities and obligations? Part 3 says, if you are of the view that your stepchild is resentful towards you, how would you treat such a relationship? Wow. So we were on part one. We were dissecting it. And we were looking at part one and the preparation process of being a stepmom. Daddy Root alluded to the fact that, okay, so you are, be, are in the classroom. You're a teacher. And yeah, 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 you'd have gotten some, you know, um, experience, quote unquote, in dealing with children. Now, I want to tell you, dealing with children in the classroom is a completely different thing from dealing with children who you have as your own or as your extended, fam extended family at home. So it's, it's, it's a little, little different. But um, I'll agree with him a little bit that we do have a little <clears throat> leverage in terms of that. But, <clears throat> sorry, disciplining um, a stepchild. Now, what you refer to as discipline, because you have people who have their own definition for discipline. True. And, <clears throat> sorry, discipline could mean sitting down and talking to the person, um, um, putting them on um, time out. Time out. Oh. <laughs> time out. <coughs> Giving them time out. Hold no, on no, 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 hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Black people, especially Jamaican people, not do I'm, time I'm out. I'm coming down to our Jamaican thing. We not do time hold out. On, I'm coming to our thing. I'm going to, I'm going to all the masses it now. It is 120, <laughs> well, over 120 countries right across the world that listen to people. We have people who listen, listen to Styles FM. And I'm speaking and to me, all of them I because there are people who have time, time out. Me, I make on those knows. There, so there we have time out. In Jamaica, we not do time out. Oh, Jesus. We have time out. And we have... Time out at door. <laughs> Whenever I run for the lick them. <laughs> I was that you are talking about. We have people who give time out as a form of discipline. There mm. are persons who will um, talk, talk very harsh and rough. And there are some who will go to the point of using physical force, whether to shake mm. or to clap one, one or two claps on the bottom or on the hand. Mm. There are some who, God forbid, go to the extreme where we call it abuse. You know, and they say, I'm discipline him because he's rude and mm. she's out of order and blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So, man. abuse are different. I, 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 I don't know. I think the, the, the power that a parent, a step parent might have or would have. Let me ask that to question. Hold on, the man. The power that a step parent would have to discipline the child mm. would he weigh heavily on the relationship that they have with the, the father or mother 
the other mother, how they relate to the other mother if they do, mm -hmm. and how much the child resents or appreciates them. Let me ask you something. Is it, a, is it something that should be discussed? Like I think so. So, 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 so. so before, before then, before... Oh, all right. At what point would you discuss that? Is it something you would discuss in the early part, even before you enter the relationship? Because you have to be, you have to be prepared, you know. Um, here when old lady clear, I realize that you have three youth. So you, Mrs. one of them don't like me. And him especially. I don't think I don't like neither because one don't like me, I don't like. <laughs> Jesus. No, yes, 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 I understand. Him are just two and a half, but... If oh you know, my goodness! If, if you know, how do you say a two and a half doesn't like you? Come if, on, it's for you if, to work your magic to let the relationship build differently and grow differently. If every time I can look for you, he wants to sit between me and you. He not like me, <laughs> right? So me want no no from no before we go no further before me start spend and even worse, I forgot buy the size four pampers for put pam for him. <laughs> you know what? Uh, you oh have any God. problem if I have to drape him now and then? The two and a half year old? Oh, you mean? <laughs> you know something? He might move like he's a man. You have to treat him like a man. You know, I'm not you sure. Do you have a problem? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not even going to facilitate this, this, this. Do you this. have a problem <laughs> if my spans off in face? <laughs> yes, I do. You have a problem, problem if I'm raising ratta? Y yes, I do. Kicking foot off a ground? Yes, I do. Any age at all for that matter? Yes, I do. And I would. Because I think at two and a half, I think work. at two and a half, for it example, even older, a little older, mm. you can build and grow into that child and vice versa. Because guess what? The child might have been accustomed to daddy. You don't like me at day. Me don't want you like me at night. The child might have been accustomed to mommy or daddy in that setting. And they saw where mommy and daddy had a, 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 a will of a time, always arguing and fussing and fighting. So... They are now seeing another man taking over, cuddling up mommy and loving up mommy. They are going to have that kind of reaction. So, uh, it's well, only natural. Well, all I have to do is start cuss and quarrel with mommy. No, then and the, we wouldn't advise the, the, that. Then if I that in see, no. and I that for the thing one. Uh, so, right? And even, uh, I, I just use one mommy, example. The spans off mommy face. Be quiet, I just use one example. <laughs> I'm saying it could also be a case where they didn't see that in the relationship, mm. but they saw mommy and daddy being loving and nice. Mm. And then mommy's no longer there. Yeah? Mm. Or daddy's no longer there because something went wrong. They separated. And now somebody else is in the picture. Nah, it well, is only well, natural well, for well. a child to act, re act out. No, no, my because youth. Because their no parents is gone. No, my youth, them. No, my youth, them. My youth, they would have said, well, all right, a, a, a different food step on the ends now. You don't know anything oh, already. Jesus. Daddy, I you understand the thing, I have to take. I expect, though, that the conversation would be had and whatever needs to be all trashed right. out will not right. be said. Let's role play. Let's role play. Go ahead. You kick off. Um... And I realize so you have, you know, you have a lovely child and thing, but you know, kids we we move out a line from time to time. May observe how you and you and the child um, are close, mm -hmm. and certain things that I see you would accept, I definitely wouldn't accept those things. Mm -hmm. You know, in terms of how the child would probably speak to you. Right. And um, I'd like to know. What are the limitations? How far can my line of discipline go? And do I have to probably report to you if the child moves out of line instead of going ahead and... Administering the discipline. Administering the discipline. And what kind of discipline would you recommend if I'm allowed to do so? I would expect you to discipline him or her, in this case her, um, in a way that you think would be fair to the child and not to be abusive. Well, I, be I would case. expect you to take a piece of hose or a piece of wire. You would expect that? I would not expect you to take a piece of hose or a piece of electrical wire to beat my child when you talk to your child and speak to her in such a way that she understands you. But then you take up wire uh, or broomstick or a piece of two before to box them for me, boy, because in talk to you a funny way or never did something we were supposed to do. So... I think you have the right to discipline him. However, it should be within the confines of what is lawful and what is, what is um, non-abusive. Okay. The, the reason why I raise that matter is because my daughter, 
told me that about 15 minutes ago she was in the bathroom and your rotten quick kid <laughs> opened the door and looked at her. No, I would have slapped him over for you. No, no, no. So no, no I, I would have no, no. I would have been okay with him being scolded. Okay. Or and, and then again too. So let it me ask you. Has no. a lot to do with something like can age. I, can I can I it's, can I am I allowed now to go and defend the right of my daughter? As it's, how, it's as, not as, so much to defend the right as of your daughter. I, as how I would have gone on. to her school and deal with the matter. No, I wouldn't want you to look at it from that angle. How would you want me to look at it? Is it your daughter? I would want you to look at it from the angle that these two children are your over responsibility. Mm-hmm. And when one is out of line, then that child should know that they're out of line. And any one of us. Yes, that is true. And any one of us should be able to say, listen, you In, did something that was wrong. All right, let me ask you a question. In this case, how, would you, how do you propose we deal with the family ram? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that the rule, what's the matter with you? There is no such the boy, situation. The boy, a family ram. No, eh? no. The boy, a family Our ram. Is the boy has a lot to do with it. And I'm not condoning it, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying, a child, you respond, you'd expect certain things from an older child. Uh, because I fear pick me. No. Uh, because I fear pick me a bias. two years old, for example, a two year old does that. You scold him, yes, and talk to him like, listen to me, don't do but that your sister. But him are not too. The, no, no, I'm saying, we didn't, we didn't establish an age. The boy I yet. And even then, scolding, yes, but let him know that, look, you don't So do what you propose, we're going to deal with him right now. Are you going to make it a slice because he's not getting no discipline yet? And, 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 and right now, to all you are going... Probably sometimes you can talk to the, the at first go, depending on the situation. But to all you are going and the anger we're in on me right now, you know. But would you have been angry if my if your child had done the same thing to my child? You would have would you have been that angry if she had gone out there gone in there to look at him while he was at, while he was bathing? She's well disciplined. She would never do that. Oh, you see what I'm talking about? No, that is the problem with some of us, and that is why some parents, yes, that's why some step parents have that problem because for them their child is perfect. Of course, she is. And the other person's child is not perfect. But and, for see, you know. But, but until we can get to the place where we look at the two children mm. as our own yeah. and treat them and deal with them as our own and not one a theme and one a fear, no. Until we can do that, we are not going to get it right. You know, you, you know, right. you, you know another thing will cause a whole problem in a relationship too. Outside of the step. Well, the half-brother, half-sister business too, you know. Mm-hmm. Because some of the time you might have one set will grow together and then one, 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 one new one come in. You know, for mm-hmm. a different, for a different person. Yes. It can it kinda cause one 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 divide. Big man thing, you know. Mm-hmm. But I was part of it still. I mean, for me, to 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 discipline a, a stepchild, me would I really think a lot more about what the what, what the mother think than what the pitney think. Because if pitney bad, pitney bad. Right. Right. And but, if he needs discipline, he should be disciplined. Right. No. Me, for one, would rather to come to the mother straight up and say, boy, moms, you know, be the farmer, you know, say the boy this, you know, say the girl this. Mm. But I would now have an expectation. Of all the parents should respond to you. For, right. Well, not respond to me. I know of an expectation. Oh, for her, him or her, for her to discipline to the de- child. To deal with the matter. But, but um, you know what happens? Appropriately. Right, but you know what happens too in many cases? When you say, listen, you know, moms, Jody went ahead, you know, and I learned that she did so and so and so, and you're telling me about it. At the same time, the child then, and uh, as you say, if the parent not, not careful, the other parent not careful, they can make things go really, really sour. Mm-hmm. Because if they deal with it in the wrong way, as you said, you'll find that the child will know that my mom never knew about it, you know. Or she even knew about it, she didn't do anything about it. True. But here is this man now. Everything gone laba laba him out and gone carry news yeah. to my mother. For my mother come, come, come school me. And then and worse, and, and then worse, probably previous to that, the mother never probably would have deal with certain things. certain things, that's right. Way. But when you, since you came into the picture, yeah. my life just got so much more miserable because this man not stopped carrying news to my mother about me. Everything him, him care to my mother and my mother want to do this and my mother want to do that and not stop punish me. So mm-hmm. the resentment gets even greater for you. Hmm. So the parent, the other parent, the biological parent needs to understand that if you're in a union together, 
how do you deal, work together even as, though, and, and, uh, and for a common goal? Even though we are on what the, the stepmom or stepdad would do in terms of the stepchild, how, what is always, what, what, what I think a part that we have always missed, because we have done a similar topic to this couple yes. probably over a year ago. I think what we have missed is how do us as parents prepare the child yes. for another person coming, coming now into, into the, yeah. right? How would you prepare that child? Say, so boy, um, you know, me and, me, me, me and um, mommy is no longer together. And, you know, I've met someone that I'd want you to meet. How how you do that? What really... You, what would I really got you? What go through go, goes through a child's mind? How would you, as a parent, how would you propose dealing with something like that? And well, I think it's good to have that that dialogue. I think it's good because many children, I think, don't get that at all. Many, should I say, Jamaican children, mm. I don't think many of them got that. They just end up seeing a, a female start coming home. Or then wake up. Yes. Yeah. Or then wake up in the morning. I mean, with another person, see somebody, yeah, somebody else, else in, in, in the, the house. house. Or, or see some, well, see signs of another person. person Can just want shoes right. yeah. also. And then they're wondering, who is this person? Yes. Oh, is my mom back? And when they check, it's not mommy. It's not daddy. Anyone can tell me, have you, have, have you had that experience? How, how you deal with that? How did you, um, or have you not, um, say to your child, you know, in terms of the whole aspect of preparing your child for you entering into a new relationship, one which they are not familiar with then. This person, how you do that? How really? Because me is straight up. I don't know how I can go to my youth. The man said, boy, you yeah, know, you don't know your thing setting up. I don't know how I can do it. Really? I don't feel like I have to hide and do it. God knows. Oh, in, really? in, in my own place, hide and do it. Send them go to shop. <laughs> yeah. um, while we uh, invite our listeners to call in on the 876-453-1444 or 954-338-7973 overseas, we quickly go to the text line, the WhatsApp connection, and see what Navlet has to say. Navlet says, I am a stepmom and they love me more than their mother. Yeah. They give a little talking. I use the wooden spoon. Oh, yeah, their yeah. father never say to me, you're wrong. They are my big son and my big daughter. The angel are the angel of my angel of their life. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, the, yeah, her big, big daughter, daughter and the, big son yeah, are, are the, the angels angel of. That's so sweet. Yep. that's good. And I, I think you won't find everybody getting along in all situations. <laughs> but, but I think many of them can work. When Navle said, they when Navle said the wood spoon, what she mean? Yeah, the wooden spoon in the kitchen. Mm. The man cut them skin, man, when they get trouble. The same one which I use and make a butter for yes, the cake? Yes, man, that same one. Sting, you know. Sting me, I tell you. <laughs> Mommy, I have someone who wouldn't spoon there, you know. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure as today, I'm Friday. And... Me get a few. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just want no nablet. If I just said spoon, we use and make the cake mix. Yes, <laughs> that same one. I think, I think one of the things, as you mentioned, that we need to probably um, express is that Adults need to understand that kids have feelings too. Yes. And even when probably you speak with them, some might still be resentment, resentful rather at first. Mm -hmm. Might still show, show that resentment. But I think having the, ret the rhetoric um, will lessen some of it. Could lessen some of it. You, you think and if you're a... both on the same page, if both parents are, are on the same page, it would be much easier. No. Daddy Road, <laughs> tie up the boy in the hands. Fitzroy, <laughs> Mr. CEO, <laughs> how are you? <laughs> <laughs> no, we might talk my language. <laughs> Listen, how, all right, how do you um, then propose that greeting? You know, so fine, you meet the person. How do you propose then that you know that you, you, how do you do that introduction how do you introduce i don't think you introduce them um at, at straight up like on the first necessarily on the first go i think you need to tell the child we talk to the child that, look daddy has met somebody um i'm really interested in this lady she's a very wonderful person she has kids um but i think we are at the place where we're going to start a relationship together mm. i i love her 
and doesn't take a, she, she's not going to try to replace your mom, mm. but this is a woman I am happy with. Mm. And your mom and I have separated. Your mom is with somebody else, and I'm happy with this woman. I would expect that, you know, I want you to give her a chance to get to know her and build a relationship with her. Yeah, you have that conversation. Worse mm. if it's an adult, well, a teenage child, that kind of thing, because they tend to be a little bit more resent, 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 resentful. But, <laughs> but the uh, um, introduction, no, the, the introduction, introduction is, part. When, when, okay, when, so when you when you prepare the child for that, yeah, they, they give them this this the preempting of who is to come or what yeah. is to come. You now reach a place where when you, you, you plan a you plan a get together then. For like a, the first the first meeting, you plan a little a little minor something, nothing great and major. Okay, it might it might flop, mm. but you plan something where you you end up in the same circle with the kids. You're gonna all of all you will be in the same space. Mm. So now you have so, mo- moments no, when you no, rea- react to each other and relate to each no, other. No, 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 no. What do you mean no, no, no? no. no. I don't like the direction we are going. You you you, you are going Americanized, foreignized. What about no, you? Know, I am not. Man. You go no, foreignize, my not. girl. I am saying you're gonna go out. Like that word, eh? Foreignize. <laughs> you're crazy. <laughs> you're you're gonna instead of just saying okay, so she's gonna come home and you introduce her. Um, this is Cleo. Um, you're gonna say this is your stepmom. No, I meet Cleo. <laughs> yeah. She she um, she's my friend, and mm. the child have picked up that. Oh, this is the person that that is spoke about. So 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 you will be okay if you are introduced as my friend. I mean, whatever is comfortable to you at the time because we know that this is another person we're dealing with. Mm. So we would have had a discussion telling us, uh, t- talking about how we're going to make this approach. Come on. I'm not a baby. All right. So him saying, this is my friend, Cleo. Mm. If he wants to say my girlfriend, Cleo, really and truly, mm. I, it's up to him to understand his children and how his children are. So if he says my friend, I, have, I, have no, I take no, no offense to that. And, and, and then what would be your, your next thing? My next what? What would be you know? Um, ha, um, Moe, Meeting the person. Uh, Olana, Olana, Momo? Moe, yeah, Momo. He, um, here's, here's my friend, Cleo, I've been telling you about. Hi, Mo. How you doing? How have you been? What's school been like? Just have minor conversations. Mm. and You pick things to say and you, you kind of feel her out and see how you don't overdo it at first. But you see how she would relate to you. How you're mm. going to react. Because if and you're naturally no. a nice person, people pick me drawn to you. Hello? Is that no rocket science to try to be a stepmom? Is it? It can what? be challenging for the, from the from the child's perspective for you, Mark. You, mm. it, it, it can it's because I've had the experience and it hasn't been free of challenges. Yeah. But I don't think I had to be like afraid and oh my God, will I do well at this? Will I will I accomplish the goals I I set? I mean, right, let me you ask just a, be who I, you I, are. I, let me ask you another question now. You are at the house for the first, well, not necessarily for the first time, but for the first introduction now, yes. right? Yes. And would you want to sleep over on that night? Uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> Me come and we chit chat, have a meal, and I go. Yes. We go. I don't want to be doing nothing right there, having ears cock up my door, catch a listen to what I want. No, 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 no. Uh uh-uh, uh, because they might just do that. <laughs> then, all right, all right. Here's another. We're gonna go somewhere else here, for that. Here is another scenario for you, Miss Teacher, trying to be prim and proper. <laughs> right? Whatever, man. The scenario is, um, the child's response to you. Isn't that a good one? Hold on. So, you're there, and then the child says, "It's getting late. I usually go to my bed at eight <laughs> thirty. What time?" Are you leaving? You're asking Cleo or, or, uh, or Miss Lewis? I'm asking. They're they not, they not Cleo on the Monday. It's get, I'm, oh, I, I, I usually go to my bed now. Um, what are you guys going to do after? Let her father answer that. Well. I leave, leave that to her father to answer that. Mm. And it depends on how old this child is. So, Daddy, um, will she be saying over what, or what time is she leaving? <laughs> In front of you know. So, Daddy, what time is she Ooh. leaving? Hmm? <laughs> I'll sit there and I look at him, <laughs> and I wonder what his what his, his response gonna be because based on his response, it tells me if he's she run the house or him running house, <laughs> and if I must run out or not, or stay. You know what I mean? Or get going. So that first impression would have an impact. Yeah, it on, would. On it you. would because whether or not is, whether or not you are prepared. Right, because if it is that I'm having an open mind to this child, yes. and this man 
sits there and starts to quiver mm. in his pants. But remember, you, know, you want him, you know? Or no you man. want him in the relationship? No, man. Hold on. Yeah. No, man. We both want each other. Boss. Yeah, but you want him. You know what about that, but you want him. Whether you both want each other, you want no, him. I want... So you don't want hold him. Hold on, man. I just said we want each other. But you want him. Well, not, not, dispute, listen, not, one, not disputing one, that I would want one him. One plus one equals two, right? The point is our 11. You the, want the point him I make plus, <laughs> plus him want you equal, you want each other. Right. So you want him. <laughs> Equally as much as he no, wants no, me. No, no, no. Yes, Scotta, you, you want him. As much as he wants you me. Want, you want as him. As much enough. as he wants me. Because you're putting a twist on it. But you want you're him. You're putting a twist like, oh, if eh? you want him, so guess what? Anything, anything you get your tech. No. <laughs> you know what? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, you know what? You, you have to twist up the thing, Michael. You don't want to answer directly. <laughs> because the people you know, in the studio will say, oh, you're stout and a humble on this one. <laughs> it is now 10.30, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> The time is brought to us by VGA Printing Services <laughs> and Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio you're, Stage. You're terrible. <laughs> I like it. We're so powered. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Yes, Massive, the big, big weekend is here. Styles of Fun will be live on location this Saturday with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Yeah, got me a talk about at Portland Paradise Weekend Sunbreak at Somerset Falls, Hope Bay, Portland from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Be a part of the excitement as they meet, greet, eat, and mingle. Yes, Daddy Rude and Lady Cleo will meet, greet, eat, and mingle at the ultimate breakfast party. You can't afford to miss it. Remember, it's a live outside broadcast from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Styles FM. It's Portland Paradise Weekend Sunbreak at Somerset Falls, Hope Bay, Portland. Party people, are you ready? Stars 96 FM and DJ4, the illest present Detour. This and every Saturday night, 8 p.m. to midnight. Tune in for the best mixes, the better mixing, and nothing but vibes. Ladies, 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 it wouldn't be a party without the ladies. Ladies special detour hour, 11 p.m. to 12 midnight. That's the Saturday night detour. Stars 96 FM with the illest DJ4. 8 p.m. to 12 12 midnight, you just gotta tune in. Business operators, local and overseas, this announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. It's a free, free, free legal affair. Styles of Femme in association with Legal Chambers, Attorneys at Law presents an outside broadcast of In the Know of the Law. In the town square of Port Antonio beside the clock on Friday, December 14, 2018, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Come consult with our resident attorney, Mr. Nicholas Chambers, along with several other government agencies to include the NHT, the Administrator General, and many, many others. Get free advice on acquiring a title, selling and purchasing properties, home ownership, divorce, will, accident claims, suing someone as well as financial advice. You just can't afford to miss this. Be assured you will know the law. The law, the law, the law. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. 
Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk and... We so, are discussing the Vox Pop, and yeah. uh, let's see what the WhatsAppers are saying before we go to some of the Vox Pops out there. Uh, Novelet says, these days, uh, these days are the polite days you're talking, Cleo. She will sleep in my bed, I will sleep in the chair. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Um, Okay, and that could be an, a, an approach, but then it depends on how the child behaves too. Because I, I would expect that parents would understand that if you're seeing somebody and your child, you're gonna make your child aware, aware of it. Now, the child ought to know even before the, the the person comes there how to relate to another adult. They shouldn't be coming to you to speak down to your speak like you're on the same level. Is that what you as a parent would have accepted or have been accepting? Hmm. So the child should understand, you know, him or herself and know that this is an adult, my dad's friend or my mom's friend, and I need to respect this person. And stay an alien. Exactly. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Oh, and and the, the parent, the adult too, should respond to the child in such a way that the respect is, you know, yeah, right. shown. Now, if you pass your place with me, I'm sorry. Do you think it would be appropriate especially on the first greeting, if the child is being um, smart, let's put it a, pol a polite way, to um, give me one big word. I'm not sure where you're going with the statement. Do you think on the first night, if the child is behaving cheeky, cheeky? cheeky for you to um, discipline the child? On that first night. No, I, I, I don't feel that. Okay, if the child says something. Oh, reprimand is a name. Reprimand. Right, that's a word. I'm I, I knew it was I, a big word. I, I, oh, so you're talking about not the cheekiness of the child, but me, if I should reprimand the child. The, the, the I think child, it's my, my the, place. The child, for example, an introduction. Hi. That's what would be the response. Hi. I'm going to do my homework now. Okay. So pretty much for tell us about them not really want for them. Yeah, right? I want to hear in your space. Right. I really honestly personally, do from you, what I know about myself. Think, do you think no. um uh, the uh -uh. child should be reprimanded? By by the father, yes. Yes, by the father. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not talking about um you as okay. the, as as a guest. I think so. I maybe not maybe not even maybe if not in my presence. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be in my presence, but I would expect him to relate to me how he dealt with the situation so I can be more comforted. If you can't tell you? We, he should relate to me how he dealt with it, yes. Because then you're going to be leaving me to think, I wonder if he dealt with it any at all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. It I'm all saying depends. Hold on. it doesn't have to be in front of me Listen. because I don't, I don't want the child to feel that, okay, so because, you know, mm. I am here, that is now doing this but, but, in front but, but, of me. But you would want to know. Of course. How he dealt with it. Of course I would. Doors. Of course I would. So now, you come on the ends, right? And the Zion act up. And me call the Zion in a room and me say, me go, me go discipline the Zion, me go talk, or whatever, me go in a room and say, you don't want to know. Of course. Me go tell you from now, what happened. Yo, Nezzy, you know, say, a long time man, I get sat out in the car, man, so there. You old boy, let me tell you this. <laughs> me nah make you. Me, me left as a car, me <laughs> toasty for a while now. <laughs> so just, Bill. Edward, please. You want me to come tell you? Edward, <laughs> 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 I mean, I'm in no position to laugh right now. Please. <laughs> hey, you want to come mash up my thing? Let's hey. see what Marie <laughs> Yes, and then please let's see what Marie's God, saying, please. That's a bright. No, not, not Marie. Um, we have <laughs> big ups to no, Nyla. We, no, we did that already. Big ups to my girlfriend Nyla who is locked in. Big ups to you, my queen. Um, oh my goodness, can we can we go to one of the Vox Pop right now, please? <laughs> I am prepared.
prepared. I know I have the tools and the skills and um, I have what it takes <laughs> to be a stepmom because I am a mom, right? So, and I think I've done a fairly good job despite the fact that children doesn't come with a manual to tell you how to care for them. No matter the amount of books they read and research you do, every child is indeed different and it doesn't matter if you have what, if it's even a twin, you'll get two separate characteristics and behaviors from those kids. So I think I'm well enough pre um, prepared to be a stepmother to any child, right? Ma'am, first, self-praise is a on the true recommendation if it's coming from an honest place right uh, getting into a relationship of course you have to give considerations as to whether or not the person has kids or other responsibilities and obligations you see there are steps and there are ways and there are um, rules that applies to this relationship thing and that's why sometimes it's better for some people to be single or remain in, in a situationship rather than get themselves into a into a relationship and then when they, they, all the little things start to come out the woodwork then there are problems in the relationship and people not getting along and, and all that so you have to, you have to ask the, the hard questions and you have to be very observant and you have to seek and look and observe visit his house the people who are important to him because you have to know whether or not you are getting into a relationship with a responsible person or somebody who is gonna live up to the obligations or his obligations to the relationship because when two people come together each person has obligations right each person has responsibilities both both um, to themselves and to the relationship and if that person comes into relationship with their baggage and when I say baggage it don't have to be something bad because a lot of times we have our baggage and a no lip and name brand and good things in there you understand so don't get it wrong so people has we have to pay attention to these things otherwise sometimes we even end up having children for irresponsible people and people who do who doesn't live up to their obligations so it's very important if i am if i'm in a relationship and i realize that my stepchild is our children is resentful towards me the most i kill them with love i'm gonna kill them with love and the the in my case being a female their father would be the person who would set the tone of how they would treat me and how the dynamics would eventually change when they realize that hey i am here i'm not going anywhere a little res resentment might very well be there because you're new you're not you're not mommy so they're gonna resent you i i wouldn't i would not take um i would not take offense unless it's adult children like you know people who are not responsible for themselves and are behaving towards me a certain kind of way, then very well, I'm going to dismiss them, really. I would just dismiss them and do not care. But if we're talking about children who are not your adults, are not responsible in certain kind of ways, they are resentful, I'm going to kill them with love. And then the father would I, and I would have to have that conversation about how we go about disciplining the children, how we go about how he treats me will also set the tone of how the children eventually treat treat me so all in all them things they are workable and on a big thing and on a big deal and you just have to nourish nourish the children and um you know eventually they will prosper yeah welcome back to real talk you've just heard the first Shelly, set of locks yeah. yeah. and, and and it's and it's quite reasonable you know it it, it, it is good as an adult if you're gonna be the naturally the bigger person yes to kind of embrace embrace them and show them say hey look you know it, it's kind of a, 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 a reverse psychology thing for to say hey, i ain't going nowhere mm -hmm. right so deal with it you know yeah but grace 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 Hi, grace come grace. on see how you're doing darling really daddy rude she uh, that you ever said to the child Yes. <laughs> <Cook for you. laughs> yes. 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 Grace, yes. 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 Energy, but that one made me laugh. <laughs> yes. I swear it. Oh you know, boy. Yeah. 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 You guys want us to keep it real, <laughs> right? Me, I got to me out, and me, I keep it real. I mean, me can't say that to more any. Oh my goodness. Me, I 
business. Right. <laughs> we can't. Like, but but then you know we're supposed to know a road. You know what I mean? Listen now. Oh, Jesus. You must understand the thing. Not because. <laughs> you know, but for the second part. Let's see the second part of the Vox Pop um, Cassidy. The second part says, when getting into a relationship, should consideration be given as to whether or not the person has kids or other responsibilities and obligations? No, everybody, pretty much, if they are progressive people and hmm. heading somewhere, hello, you'd expect that they would have some level of responsibility as well as obligations. Not your people who are um, aspiring for greatness, have responsibilities and obligations. The persons who don't, I would think that they are the ones who are no, really non-progressive and, you know, you know, and careless and lazy. You know, me can't manage your mind, girl. It's me, true. Me really can't manage your mind, girl. Responsibility, we... Listen. As, uh, come on. Listen, me can't, me can't, me can't Needless manage. to say that me, the, the me, stepmom has responsibilities and obligations. Me can't manage so, your, when getting into the relationship, listen, should I consider... Number one. Whether or not the person has kids. Number it one. It depends on how many kids they have. And okay, no, no, we are talking. Go on, talk. Me, yeah, go on, it, talk. it depends on how many kids they start, have to an extent. Because there are persons who will tell you if the person has kids any at all, they're not going there. Hmm. And there are people who will tell you if they have one or two, mm. probably all three, we can't mm. work with it. But any, oh, I want four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and now I work, I'm not going there, not looking. <sighs> right? And I don't, what you say? I, I what you say? say what you those, say? I can't say I have those. Um, Inhibitions now are those. Yeah. If it's mark you, hold on. If Think well. Le, Think le, well. Let me clarify something. Yeah, please. If it's, do. If it's seven, eight, nine, ten little children, hell to the no. Mm. No, I'm not going there. Would it matter? Would and if it is that I'm gonna be the one now with my busy life schedule mm. to take on wholly and solely. Because him gone on the road and him feels like carrying the money, come give me for feed the children them. So it's okay for him to be on the road till late at night with his friends and having no. fun. Hold on, man. And so? leave me. I'm, just, I'm making a point. And leave me to nurture and to care for those seven children. So every night, me I cook food and share out dinner. Can't you handle it? Seven, eight, nine, ten after a day at school with 30 odd. Hell no. Uh-uh. Then oh, you can't take your other people no, to and you can't come take I, your my no, seven, nine, ten. No, what I'm saying is, if it is a case, and, and there's, there are some variations too, some variables. If it is that this person, I, I don't think seven, eight, nine little children that are like steps in, in terms of height. I cannot handle that. I just can't uh, handle and that. I'm sorry. And one woman him get them with. All the more reason why I want him to go there. No, no. Seven, eight, nine kids who happen to be six, seven, no, three... Five, seven, nine, and eleven. One period, twin, we are twelve, and then one thirteen, fifteen year old, or one seventeen. No, 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 don't, don't no, do but, that to me. No, don't but do let that me ask to a me. Question. I'm sorry, I'm if, not going there. If you sit, uh, uh, although we are I'm exaggerating, but that is a sign of a good man. Excuse me. You're excused because he has his children. Yes. By all means. Is so guess smart? what? Yes, by all means. But guess what? Smart, I am just you know. not the it woman. It was somewhere hidden in I there. I am just not the woman to deal with that. I'll work with a four or so or a five. Mm. And, and they must not be on the same level like steps. Well, let me ask you a question, right? You four know, or but, five. But this F four or little five. baby, baby ones, I'm, I'm really right. sorry. So, so I'm if, really so if sorry. they have a big picnic and they never live with him, I maybe say yeah, one man. live with him. And the rest of them are big people gone right. about their business. You know, or one, two or three at so, home. So you'd I'll, I'll, so, so you enter, enter into that and willing to also start have kids of your own for each other. And again, we have to know, decide on how, if we're going to do that, how many? Cause it no, would, oh, you reach so far. What do you mean? You reach so far. It would be a, only, probably only, only a one. Yeah, but, right, but, but, but you have to tell how many. I'm, but I'm man. saying how many because you have some people that their, their chemistry is so well strong that as they have one, two, two, she gone again. But if I saw so, but you have go too far, my girl. No, I have Listen. to look ahead. No. I have to look ahead. It's a feminine, straight up. Straight up. Me often know, first and foremost, how much, right? How much, because... Hmm. How much what? Is it how many what? How much pitney? 
Because after a while, no, after one the man, they know this. No, after a while, woman decides they decide, say they don't want no more picnic. And if you're a man, when have no picnic. Well, yes, that should be a consideration, consideration right? before you go in. If you're a youth, when they have no picnic, you need to know if this woman, and say she have to even say two kids, then we could keep it at a minimum, two kids. You need to know as a woman, as a man, if this woman want more picnic, and, at, and when she want more picnic, and also her, hold on, and also our present age. Well, yes. And if it is that within the next, within the next two years, you can... Uh, in a few years, if she can have more or all so, right, you decide right, to right, have some. All right, hold on, hold on. Listen to me now. Listen to me now, Cleo. You see, you, in a your younger stage... Uh, excuse me? <laughs> Let me just finish up, please. <laughs> I'll finish. keep my young stage. Let's say in your young stage. Don't well, think about a young girl. Because well, young girl is suggesting that I'm now old. <laughs> no, man. Well, I know. Let, 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 let. <laughs> That's like a delayed, that's like a delayed broadcast a while ago. You know? It's not like, like it's a, it a brewing. But listen, for example, right? You say so you have two kids, right? Mm -hmm. And you're pretty much, them pretty much big. Or you might have a one with your yard. So you have Jody, we are doing our thing, you know, and then you have a one. And then a little man walking in your life. You don't have none. Mm -hmm. See? And so for argument's sake, you are like, say, 38. Mm -hmm. Right? And him is a young stud. Could be How a, young, dear? Eh? How young? Could be a like one year younger. Oh, you, you okay. know what I mean? <laughs> but in on a youth, right. he might move like a gelding. Mm. See? So he just not have no youth yet. In on a youth. Yes. Right? How long, at what stage would you think so in this relationship? Remember, you know, it just started, you know, one month old, two months, three months ago. <laughs> would you have known within your mind say so you would have want a youth for the youth, yeah? With a youth, yeah? W because I remember, you know, remember, you know, you are 37. I don't, no, 38. Yeah, and I'm saying. And so now, you are go up. Yes. I, while you are good on. <laughs> and him are go up to, you know, also, while him are good on. No, him are good on. It's also the man's responsibility to assess whether or not this is the, the person that I'm going to choose to be with because I'm going to want to have kids. And if you're going to consider the fact that. But, um, Within a certain age range, it's, ad it's advisable. Not, not that you I can't. I want to bridge Canada listen well, to no, this. No. Not listen, that you can't. Listen, if are, listen, our old boy. Not that you can't have kids at, at certain age, over 40. But we know that the, the, the risks are greater mm -hmm. after a certain age. Yeah? yeah? So it's also for him to be responsible enough to say, okay, I'm going to want to have three kids with the, with the woman I'm with. I really care about this particular woman, but is this the woman that I, I, I think I want to spend the time with because no, by hold on, hold on. the no. next two years she's going to become 40, or she's now 40, she's going to become 42 or 44, whatever, right. after a couple of years, and right. I need to have kids. Yeah. So it's also for her and for this man, to, sh she must also be responsible to have the dialogue and be realistic. Just be realistic and be real. Oh, no, hear that. Uh, all right. One of the reasons why this is, this, this is key, you know, you have a lot of women, right, who reach up there, where them have a youth, or take up a youth who are younger than them, and it's a real talk, me I make. Because we even do one topic, on that, one, one letter on that issue there. See? But the woman know, or know, know within herself so the chance or she keep it then from a youth. Mm -hmm. Because of, of her of, age? Well, not her age, but her possibility. Is, or okay. null possibility. Oh. And a youth, one youth, but then can deliver upon the youth. Mm -hmm. So me I say, for both man and woman, they have to look upon the situation and say how much they have, what stage they're in their life, and what you want for yourself. This is not nothing about love. If you want three picnic and you know that she can only give you one, you try to plan elsewhere for that too. <laughs> now what a lele I'm about true, this is the one where you want to be with. It can't work. How way you want. So if she have two out there before you, she should have been willing and now the problem if you will get two out there. <laughs> to each his own and they must have the dialogue. 
They must have that. So dialogue. if you know so you can only give one. So you said so, so the time ago. Unless you can have them brap brap brap, you know. Zane? Is it okay? Would you would you be fine if you go get if you got bunks just just forget two you you get two more out of road there? Why you him with? Because you, you said you know the one that he wants to be with, but he want to you. To each his own, that's all I'm saying. To each his own. No, may I ask you about you? The more Me? for your own, yes. <laughs> The more for your own. Oh boy. Me not like when you're politically correct. <laughs> Me not like it. We have Dan, Dan, I think, on the line. Good night, caller. Hey, Cleo, how you doing? Hi, I'm not so good right now, you know, but I'm hanging in there. Come on, Daddy Rude, I say. There, Rude boy. Me, I mash him up around there, man. He's not the one mashing up here. It's a flu coming on. <laughs> it's a flu mashing hey. me up, not Daddy Rude. All right. Rude. And it's slow. And that this week, I said. Yes. I'm going to check my mother. Yes. I'm a, I'm a, mother, I'm a mother all distraught. Here I said, just distraught now. Yes. <clears throat> One of my younger brother, there this girl for 17 years. See? Yes. She she have kids, um, like must two or three kids. So he's, he's like the step, uh, what I call it, father. Right. For the kids then. Yeah. You know, like kind of everything, you know, because, you know, they've been a long time. Right. Anyway, I'm going to confide in her the other day and say, look, I want to leave, let's call her name, Cleo. I want to leave Cleo, you know. And mother said, why? Because I'm finding find a, younger, a younger sister. Wow. And time I catch up with him, I'm not having the kids on his own. And I'm really able to like to have kids on his own. Wow. All right, mm-hmm. and mother said, the whole night she cut up, she, she, she can't sleep because she really checked for that girl, yeah. But she can see his point of view because really and truly, she, she really love him for get her grandkids. That may I talk about. Mm-hmm. All right. No, she asked me my opinion. What did you I say? I mean, tell her, I mean, tell her, I said, no, well, I'm not advising to just steer it down and, and leave it both of them. Oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> Dan, no, Dan. because 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 look very clear. You're a realist, I mean, it, sir. It, yeah, it it has really up and chuck chuck away somebody we did for so long. You know, same thing, and was far away from them. You know. Wouldn't you agree, clear? Yes, that to that question is is hard. Yes. <laughs> yeah, man, it's hard. It's hard to walk away, but but at the same time, um, him have a life to live. Point, yeah, so, and a man who I know say he's a man and him, and him, you know probably when he was nine, 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 nine twenties and I think for them them lines. Eh. So can I ask you this, Dan Dan? Yeah. What would you say to the possibility that she could very well want to stay with him, but might not be able to deal with the reality that he might go get children outside? She not have to know. Well, 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 well. Repeat that. Me? Your excuse. You don't have to know. I'm saying, uh, what would you say to the fact that she might not be able to deal with the fact that she would probably learn eventually that this man is seeing somebody else because he wants kids that she can't provide? What if she can't deal with that? Would you say, well, she needs to just <clears throat> go and build and just know that the man love her, but no, the man need kids? Well, 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 no, no, well, 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 well. First of all, first of all, my brother not going to tell her that. Mm-hmm. All right? That's a what? Two, if, if she does find out at some point, Yes. You know, it, it, I can't say, look, clear why the season looks like that thing coming to season. I want to try something else. And then, um, so, you just go do this. Mm. You know, in the same mm. way, in, in, in the same way I was, I am father to your kids, you know, Respect your kids. Um, just, 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 just respect the situation. So it's she, not, not she would just be like a surrogate. Would you say that she would? Yeah. She, she would, would she be like a surrogate? No. No, but, well, I but because, but because, look here, look how clear. He gonna have kids with 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 a younger girl who who piece of can game kids. There's nothing against the one who's with he's with now. You know. Really now. He's not. He's not doing something to her to um to the present girl now. You know. Mm-hmm. True. I'm sure. She True. Isn't. So why not get somebody to just be able to 
bring forth the child, someone that you have no connection with, per se, you know, personal intimate connection with, and you do what is called an artificial insemination. What's wrong with that? And that's how you tingle. <laughs> yeah. I'm asking you a question. Yeah, there are yeah, other I options. Dan, 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 Dan. There are other options than to leave our union to just go dan, and dan. start seeing another woman who could very well snatch you away from me. Dan, Dan, let me, let, let yeah, me, yeah, let, let me answer that question to Cleo and the other ladies. Them. Let me tell you this. You see, if you bring forth a youth, every man who knows that youth that are come with a woman where he more than knows a comfortable nurture that youth as well you have and to I'm understand saying that there, yeah but there are other options to also facilitate the woman that you love and you want to share their yeah, life but, with but, why but not Cleo, facilitate something I mean, else there are options, but, 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 but why not the uh. natural option what is wrong with yeah, so the I'm natural say, option yeah nothing is wrong with the natural option but I'm saying if it is a mm. case where this might pose a problem with regards to the woman and you the woman you want to be with and the woman who wants to be with you if this could pose a problem, why not? It's still a natural child. You're going to have a fierce sperm but going into another this, woman and if, impregnating if her. This, if, if this poses a problem, it would be it would be an indictment on the lady then. Would it? Sure? Would it hold though? On. Dan, Dan. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you want all on, but we're at the 11 o'clock break. All right, yeah, me will. Me will all right, the time is now 11 o'clock. It's brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And remember, Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio, Stage and Lighting. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Ho 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 Styles FM Jingle Bells This must Advertising package Get more for less When you advertise Your business With Styles FM This Christmas Get 10 to 30% more On your ad packages Starting October Contact our sales team For details At 518-2399-374-8668 Or 320-7670 Conditions apply <laughs> Yes, Massive, the big, big weekend is here. Styles of Fun will be live on location this Saturday with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Yeah, got me a talk about at Portland Paradise Weekend Sunbreak at Somerset Falls, Hope Bay, Portland from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Be a part of the excitement as they meet, greet, eat, and mingle. Yes, Daddy Rude and Lady Cleo will meet, greet, eat, and mingle at the ultimate breakfast party. You can't afford to miss it. Remember, it's a live outside broadcast from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. On Styles FM, it's Portland Paradise Weekend Sunbreak at Somerset Falls, Hope Bay, Portland. Clifford Guest House, sponsor of Metamorphosis on Monday nights from 9 p.m. to 12 midnight with Dr. Iman Black. Located at 15 Queen Street, Port Antonio, that's Ditchfield Hill, they offer accommodations for up to one month. Call them at 285-0610 for more information. Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518 518- 2399 to advertise your business and events call text or whatsapp us on 518 2399 518 2399 don't forget 518 2399 Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Yep. Good to go. Dan Dan. Dan Dan. Hello. Yeah, oh, oh, you're there, you're there, boat. Now, what may I say? 
I don't mean, I mean, think enough of the woman would I really understand. Right? The whole aspect of a man say, alright, other lady that you want to do it with. Based on the circumstance where you are saying, no, your, your proposal meeting is well in order and reasonable. The only thing for me, him not for make moms know how I go on, him have got to try to live the double life. He have got to try that part there. Because outside of that, the heartbreak part, the heartbreak part. I mean, not, I mean, I feel that him system can deal with that part there. You see, you see, Dan yeah. Dan, Dan Dan, listening but, to you. But, but, oh. but, but, but what my, my brother that, that, that proposed to, to my mother still, you know, is that him, him would not leave her because he didn't want to risk the arm, um, because he checked her so much, he wouldn't want to risk. Exactly. Um, break her heart like that. Exactly. We not, we need to not be selfish because what? It better you tell the lady, say, look. No. No. It better you tell the lady straight up, say, this is the situation. No. Make that pee in there. Lick no. her from there, sir. Then for no such as living there with you in a, a, a level of deception. What are you talking about? Years. Not knowing that this man went out there with another woman to have kids. I right, would behind you. Behind my. Hold on, man. I want to know, man. Make a want to know. Make a want to know. All right, would you prefer? Would you prefer him going to her and saying to her, say, Mom's my want youth? All right? Talk to her and well, tell her the reality. If well, she can't deal with it, then too bad. Well, it's I just what it is. Then I ask her to break, say me. Yes, me, the, the one that no. easier. Oh. That one easier. Oh, more oh. woman call me. Tell Listen, me, man. you are telling me that the man come to, come, come to her and say, yo, moms, you know, say me want you and you can't give me you. So. No, you have to know what to say. Baby love, I love you to, I love you to death. I love you. But guess what? The, the reality. Hold on, man. Me my a woman girl. in a star, me a woman. You got to, you got to tell a woman, and, say, and, 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 you, and got, want, you as a man, got to tell a woman, you. say, boy, so you love either, her to death. The woman, but I got to tell her, boy, or like, since you love me to death, try to go dead now, then, no? No, no. <laughs> oh. it, 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 say, say to the woman, listen, baby, I love you, and I want to be with you. <clears throat> to my heart, I want to be with you. But the reality is, let us be realistic, I would really, really love to have some kids of my own. No, it is either no. two. Let me finish the man. Unreasonable. It is realistic. It's either two things. It's an unreasonable. No. Real, uh, Make, if, if, the the woman. Woman have, if the woman have any farmer level of reasoning no. and understanding, no. she can hear what the man have to say. And then Dan Dan, it's either him going... You have put the woman in a... In, in, no. In, 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 you have put the woman in an in insecure. You are going to make the woman insecure oh, for life. I prefer to be no. insecure right there, so than to be insecure otherwise. No. I don't want to live with the deception, Dan Dan. So then he's going to present right, right, a key. Hold on, no. Hold on, Dan Dan. Hold on, listen. Suppose, I, you know the song, I rather, with the, with the, line, the line of the song, was, I rather hurt you honestly than mislead you with a lie. You must say mad. <laughs> Nothing like that can go on here, sir. No, all right. Cleo. Yes. What, all right. What is, what, is so, what is so off or unnatural or wrong for the woman to, to understand and say, you know, you know, you will miss your point. Miss your point, but... <sighs> <laughs> that, I mean, what what what, that, what, is, what is she what, what what is she supposed to say? To, that, um, that's what I'm um, saying. I, I wasn't finishing. You're you're you're, you're bum rushing me, y'all. Y'all bum rushing me. No, I am saying, let the woman know what your situation is because guess what? Nothing beat the truth. The truth is just the truth. No, you want but, no, but but clear, clear. All right, let's say. All right. No, no. Saying? Look here, look here. All right, listen me now. More than I can know. Hear why? Suppose. Suppose, suppose, all right, I don't, I don't know for a fact that, that I can, can have a youth, or even this girl could have a youth, feel? So, suppose me, me, me leave and I try her two children and, and, and nothing happen with her. You know, aren't I going to want to come back, come back when we come to her like that? Come back, come back where? I mean, not here. I mean, come back where? What, 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 you, you, know, you, know, you remember, you remember, you remember, let, let, let her three weeks ago. But the man leave and go and uh, want you. Dan, 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 all me saying is, if it is that him present the situation to her, ask her, baby, what you really think is the best solution? No. 
Right. The woman clear, might clear, the woman clear, might clear. very well be the one to tell clear. him say. You know what you're doing, let me finish the dandan, dan, please let me finish. You look at the woman's point of view. Yes, I have to. I have to. The woman the woman could very well tell him. The woman could very well say to him, I love you too, like that, and I don't want to lose yes. you. So guess what? I'm going to give you the chance to have... There are women out there who will tell a man, say, it is okay if you got to have him train them and come right back with them. Dan, Dan. I've heard women tell men those things. Dan, Dan. And if she mm. love him and want him and she don't want to lose him, she will let him go have his she will let him go have his children and come right back. Under one circumstance would I agree with Cleo. If mm. the situation is one where in say the 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 lady right now is asking your brother if he want kids of his own. It is only under such a circumstance would I encourage that conversation that the man say You yes. see <clears throat> Yes I would. That is what mutual outside, that is what mutual love and understanding is, you know. Outside of that, the man never bring nothing to our none at all. Well, guess what, Andan? If you your brother and uh, I were together, uh, clear, yeah? Clear, clear. Can I ask this question, clear? Yes. Many, many, many of you are together for 10 years. Yeah. You see? You need churches and all, and, and why, rule by a fire pure blanks. Yeah. And you, and you, and you really want, want, want a youth. Um, and some, and some of the other side as a proposition, you um how how would you handle that? Let him know exactly what I feel. Which is what? Eh? Let him know exactly what I want. I want, I want a child. And you can't give him. And they cannot give the child. So what's 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 yeah, going to yeah, happen? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, I would oh, prefer I would prefer me not lie to you. I would prefer to break it up. It to hurt me, it to hurt him, it to break it to pieces. But guess what? I would prefer of course I'll tell him the reason. I would prefer to break it off with him than to sit down there and make this man believe that I love him and everything. All right, and then I come now and I'll have baby and tell him, see, I feel pity. I'm not doing it. Yeah, but, no, but, I'm not right, doing right, so, it. I'm not doing it. But, but, so, but, but, but you're doing me. Or, 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 or you know, so you, you will can do the job. Well, may I say you're not going to know that. Uh, yeah, I agree. But at the same time, I'm saying to you, and if it's a case where I am with this person, I mean, go end up get pregnant. But now tell him say a theme. Once, once we figure say boy is not theme, I mean say boy something did not go on between me and somebody else at the same time because me now see my going with nothing, no baby mm. now come whatever and something go try else, uh, elsewhere a road and baby go come. Me I cut it off right there so because right. that level you know, that so, you know, to so live we, with we just that. that enough time though. Huh? Well, you just described a while ago. You know, so that happened enough time, though. Yeah, but then there are some women who give them wrong man the pitney and them no says not for yeah, them no, 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 that matter about. That happened enough time. That matter about. Okay, well, the, the, the other one happened too. We do man take care of ourselves. <laughs> might happen less, but it happens. <clears throat> Clear. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sticky situation. Very sticky. Situation. So, so, but he must so tell difficult. her, I think he must tell her, because I decide if, he, if she wants to stay or she wants to go. And mm. if she decides that she wants to go, he give her the truth, him conscience set him free, go get your children him otherwise then. Simple. Yeah, but, 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 but because it's, it's such a difficult situation, I think you should drive a bun one, I think. Dan, Dan, here's my, here, yeah. here's my suggestion for making it be like a 50-50 thing. Yeah. The youth, but the way I do, Right? And you mm. see when um in in in, in, in young girl pregnant, in the mm. moms don't say moms, they don't say me mess up. <laughs> yeah. You see me, I say? You see your old gangster. And then, <laughs> and, then and, and then from there, so now, you see how it play out. Well, I, 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 I want to tell you know, when, when we give my mother the answer, my, 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 my mother, 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 my Anyway, later. Yeah, respect. <laughs> All right, Dan, Dan. Thanks for calling in. All right. We have the other part of the question if we go do you know. Hold on. Hey, good okay. night. If you... Uh, uh, repeat that. Hey, good night. If you uh, look a person and the person stop talk to you and go get married, then five years later, the marriage don't work out. 
then the person come to you would you take them back similarly go have baby and come back and say oh we will come back to you now no tell me straight up say boy you have a you have a, have a kids this is not gonna work out because if you want to say that it's not gonna, it's not working out because i want kids and you know we can't have kids together um i, I i'm considering getting kids outside and i know you might not really want that wait, wait, wait what's your stance you know what you think two things come two, on, um man. um two two, two things to that to, to that person whether you are the person, um, the, this person leave or you're the person going back, one thing is going to be important, which is that, say, both persons don't make that become an issue when you not, if you don't end up in an argument, right? Because sometimes something happens and it becomes the, 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 the we call it now, the, the always, always, always the subject matter. Or the, or, or, or the guilt card draw upon the one day. Member say you did this, and member say you did that. Mm-hmm. Where the person would have probably feel as if, say, boy, them owe you, you know? But, yeah, you need a year and a year, really. It, it, it's how people feel about them one another. And if, 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 the, if it's a bridge and the sister and go away, go left and come back, people do make mistakes. And sometimes people have to just go out there and get some harsh reality and in, even in our life. Even it's deliberate, huh? All if I deliberate. All right, let's see what the other part of the letter says. Um, any more Vox Pops? Uh, the other part, not the letter, rather, the Vox Pop. The other part to the Vox Pop says, uh, if you are of the view that your stepchild is resentful towards you, how would you treat such a, such, such a relationship? Um, I think I would try and try and try a couple of times over mm-hmm. to try to get the child to um, probably end up telling me what's really bothering them over time. Um, you have resentment and you have resentment more than resentment because you have some levels where they really go rude and disrespectful. Yeah. And you have the other part where it's kind of mild where you can work around it, yeah? Mm-hmm. Or try to work around it. Um, if I discover that the child is resentful, I wouldn't say be all up in their grill all the time. And um, probably I'll reach a point, because I know persons who have had, who have stepchildren to deal with, and they practically leave them alone, leave them alone to an extent where they don't have that chummy, chummy relationship with them, and they don't always be chatting up to them. But when it comes down to like things around the home and stuff to do their chores, they will tell them straight up, do your chores, get this done, cook dinner, share dinner, whatever, and so on. Right? So it's it's about how you the approach you take to it. And I think for persons who are having resentments from stepchildren, I think the other parent should really, really stop and do the checks and look into themselves to see how it is that they are assisting or contributing to that level of resentment. Yeah. Because if every time something goes wrong and the lady or the man tries to step in and you know to deal with it as and and then for a man who is the head of the household if he's a stepfather right and the child does something wrong and the father tries to the stepfather tries to, tries to talk to the child and the child shows a certain reaction and you as the mother now talk to him so no you know yeah you, you're not making the situation any easier so i think the the, the two parents go back to the the the, the vox pop cassie the, both parents just have to realize that if we are in this together we are in this together. We can't be in this as separate people. It's never, ever going to function properly if you're in it as separate parents. Yeah, true. Right? And even though the children have a mother or even though they have a father, I think to the father, the outside, the additional fa- the father, not, not additional, the, the biological fathers and mothers need to understand too that, yes, it's my child, but guess what? It takes a village to raise a child properly. And if the person is not abusing the child, then you ought to not be stepping in sometimes to deal with certain things. Let the father, who is supposed to be sensible enough to work with his lady, deal with the situation. Mm. Let the man, who should be smart enough, work with the mother, you understand? Yeah. And vice versa, to deal with it properly. Sometimes some of the parents that are not living with them step in and tell the children some things behind the parents them back. So when they go back home, <clears throat> where the stepmother lives, or you know, where the stepmother is, a hell and powder house. Do you think? Do, uh, well, I mean, it's kind of rhetorical, but do you think the 
the other parent then, who no daddy, should assist in 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 that relationship being good in terms of they, they have a, they have an obligation. I think so. I think so because the reality is, it's always gonna be. It, once you're good people, mm -hmm. it's always going to be much easier when you have a mother father figure raising a child. So, so if for example, it be, so rather. if for example, a she take with the man from you, do you laugh? Because then that puts a whole different perspective on things. <laughs> <laughs> but as she took with the man from if, you, if if well, I'm not quoting go on and custody, and the man get queen custody at the pitney. Oh, judgment! Oh, yeah. God. Those cases, you, you'd have to speak to those cases because those cases are some real sticky, tight ones because people don't just get over, get over that so easily. People don't. But at the same time, the, the reality is oh, the outcome, you don't like it. And I would prefer if you don't have anything to do with the two of them yeah. than to set up the child against them because at the end of the day, you're probably just doing more harm to the child than good in terms of the mind that you're making the child develop towards these parents yeah. or, you know, you, you, you want the child to be able to function in school properly. Well, definitely. So when you set the child to, to misbehave at home and the father gets angry, you know, and scolds the child because he was rude to the stepmother, you know what I mean? The resentment on both sides being, being developed now. And you in the middle there sitting on laughing while your child is a victim of this situation. Yes. Yeah. So you, you have to be careful and put, put self aside. And the man left, or the, the, man never, the man never took nobody from you, quite frankly, the man go. Never, no one never hold to me and say, yo, come. I am willingly go. So them, do, them, do them think together? Yeah, Con two consenting adults did their thing. Quite frankly, if you're going to blame the woman, blame the man too. That's from a seat. Fair enough. You understand? So sometimes then to put aside that and look at the, the greater picture. I've heard women say, oh, my children are being taken care of by this lady. So me good to go. Mm. Me all right. And, and I think the only time a parent should really step in and try to make, put a stop to certain things is when the child, children are being abused by the step parent, for example. Yeah. Or the, the, the father or mother is abusing them because of the step parent, right? That's a different thing. But when everything is normal and the mother, the woman is really trying to be a good stepmom or the father, be trying to, the man trying to be a good stepdad, I think the other parent should really be supportive. Fair enough. And when the person is wrong, so the person says, no, man, not because I know your mother, whatever, whatever, you're wrong. And you shouldn't be speaking to the man like that or saying those things to the man. Are trying to fight off the man, or the, you know what I mean? Yeah. You, the, the, the parents who are real good and responsible parents should say, those, say to the child that you're wrong when they're wrong. Worse, and especially so if the parent is really being doing the best they can to see that, see that your child, not their child, but their stepchild, is being reared properly. You should be supportive of that. Yet when they use a word there. We have we're gonna listen to another um vox vox pop and then we get back to the WhatsApp. Well I don't see the issue in discipline a stepchild. Um if me, me and the person is together, they must um speak to the child about me disciplining them because I know that I will discipline person or my, my, my stepchildren with love. I won't abuse them. And if I have children too, I don't want, would want my person to discipline my child and with no abuse or anything like that as long as they do. They cannot talk to them or even, I would would, would even maybe, it depends on the age, even on the could slap to it if it weren't it. But I wouldn't have any problem uh, with my um, spouse or my significant other discipline my child because the child is to be disciplined, it's supposed to be disciplined. So I don't think I'm, I would have a problem right now. No, I'm in a relationship and I have my, 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 my kids and if my child out of the, will do something out of the way, he will speak, to, I would expect for him to speak to, my, speak to the child about it because one, as this, the old time saying go, is not a, a, a person grow a child, it's a community and I believe in that. That is why I think you no know, Jamaica um, still waits still because we see them like here and death and nobody doing anything about it. So 
if he's not, if he don't want to discipline child, tell me about it then, and let I do this discipline. But I expect some sort of disciplinary action, not to be abusive and kick kick me pitney through the window. No, I don't want that. But him should. And if if I see where he's abusive to my child, no, I worry, you know, they say it cut from. Because what I know to me can tell you, I have a step, my step, um, my stepdad, and because you know, say my mother and uh, tell him for this way, me, you know, my face. I my face it to him. Can't tell me for do nothing. I'm wrong my mother, wrong my father yard. But I believe in that for true. That's just my opinion. Yep. Welcome back to Real Talk. Whew. All right. So, in terms of, f- f- um, for me, Silan, uh, the resent of the stepchild. Um, <laughs> it's kind of... It, 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 is one of them questions the way it are boiled down to how what well what kind of leadership role you intend to take. Right. Because you can either get to the level of the pitney and decide say, all right, the pitney don't like me. So them them they on their own. Me now go do done for the pitney. You know, pitney school fee for pay. The mother and the and the father they on their own because me now go play step dad just so. Now, if you look at it, one other part to this is that relationship between you, the two adults, them. So they say, say yes, they pick the bad. Just like the car, just like the, the, the box pop person say a while ago, say, there were times where them give them step daddy a hard time because they know say the mother now do nothing about it. Right? When you know say they pick the bad. And the pitney give you a hard time. And the mother or the father really and truly seem to uh, maybe make things not seem so. Or not do no discipline. How that relationship you now are going to work between, between, be, between the two adults them? Mm. Because there has to be a breaking point. Something got to give. You can't be... You can't be a parent and know so your child is rude to anybody at all. Mm-hmm. And then you, you, you kind of brush it off and say, boy, because me and her mother are not there again. Why she she behave? So you try to make that psychological mm-hmm. analogy for yourself. To comfort yourself. Right, mm-hmm. to comfort yourself. Because the, the themselves, we use that, you know. We use that. Now, for me... If me say where and say boy the parent themselves na enforce discipline and even if discipline is not necessarily say I mean the picnic disrespect but the picnic is just a bad picnic and we say that that mama there nah do what they not so, what they supposed to do me not unite with them you know she attend with him bad picnic you know <laughs> him and him bad picnic turn and one makes of course makes money else take out that they burn there me not want it so- so if the children are resentful or the child is resentful mm. and the mother is making an effort to curb the indiscipline That's problem. different. Okay. Make an effort, yes. You know, I make we work on the party with the pitney, but, 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 but if the mama no one not about it and I say, I, 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 I saw you stay. No, I'm not joining that one. Either. Right. Yeah. That, you, you and your pitney are turning up. You and your rotten pitney turn with no bad self. <laughs> Because me now make no pity disrespect me. Me but, and them are not size. But what if it is that the child's level of resentment is as a result of um, behavioral issues that are not necessarily, say, normal? Go back to point one. Me never prepared for that. <laughs> me never prepared for that. But when you're taking up a woman or a man... Me say, wouldn't me not take on certain liability and obligations, which is point two. <laughs> so a child who has learning this uh, not learning behavioral the, issues okay because learning um, is a different thing yes behavioral issues mm. and is dyslexic well dyslexia um, or one of the other I don't remember them right now if you come put plastic bag over my nose when I sleep <laughs> we don't know I got to the end <laughs> right me, I is, it about fair, is it fair to condemn a woman then and a child because the child was born a certain way and a certain um no it can't fear me never said that no man listen 
Me never said that. Isn't it, isn't it in your... Don't, don't you see it as a means where you have come on, Re, listen, come on stream to try to help this if, child? If, if the pitney of autism... Yes. If the pitney of learning this order, that is a totally different thing from a bad pitney. No, but, but then with, with autism and so on and some of those behavioral issues and learning problems... That's comes, different. Comes a level of behavioral... Um, that me, me, is me. totally different from when your pitney does bad. You have bad pitney. Yeah, but what I'm saying pitney is... Pitney root out hard and face it okay, and rank. Okay, so pitney who root out hard and rank and face it. Mm. It, it, it. It's hard to deal with. Me but, know not with but, that but, one. but isn't it probably equally hard to deal with a child who has one of those issues? Me say the bad pitney... It's better, worse. Be, better farm say, 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 say he have issues. He have, he have artists. But they do have issues. He but try not, farm. They, but they do have issues, some of them. They listen. do have psychological issues. Then we, listen. And might just be not the brain might not be functioning properly. Then we, we then we go do an assessment and see what going with the head. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, would you still say then that child is a no no, but the one who is artistic is okay? I'm asking. Well, if it's because a, th- well, that comes with challenges too. If if, if it's a bad picnic, it's a bad picnic, and we try and make too much biological excuse for bad picnic, mm-hmm. right? We at me, me, me see in a third world ways. Me, me see in a third world third world ways. But don't you think you should you should you should it is it's your responsibility as a man who is with a woman who has a child who's a bad picnic as you put it. Don't you think it's within your responsibility to seek out ways and means of learning how to deal with that child? You're when? a man. When? Why are you covered in? When? Why are you being a cowardice? When? At what stage in the relationship? Early out. Early out. You're there to save the child. You should be there to 11, save the 31, child. 1131, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Saved by something. Time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored. My gamba from my patwa. It's sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. We Soon forward. <laughs> Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, Call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Planning a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low-priced promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Yes, Massive, the big, big weekend is here. Styles of Fun will be live on location this Saturday with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Yeah, got me a talk about at Portland Paradise Weekend Sunbreak at Somerset Falls, Hope Bay, Portland from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Be a part of the excitement as they meet, greet, eat, and mingle. Yes, Daddy Rude and Lady Cleo will meet, greet, eat, and mingle at the ultimate breakfast party. You can't afford to miss it. Remember, it's a live outside broadcast from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. On Styles FM, it's Portland Paradise Weekend Sunbreak at Somerset Falls, Hope Bay, Portland. Are you sick of living an average life and tired of just getting by? Do you want to take your life to the next level? Learn the secrets of the super successful. Listen to Power in a Half Hour with Coach Mark this and every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Learn the habits of the super successful and how to make these habits work for you. Learn to turn your dreams and desires into reality. You can win in the game of life. Let Coach Mark show you how every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Business operators, local and overseas, this announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. 
Trans FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk. And offer is rather very interesting at times, can I tell you? <laughs> we are now down so, to the final 25 minutes of the show, people. Yep. And so we're going to go right into... Right into our letter. Thanks to all... This juicy, mm -hmm. sprucy <laughs> letter. Thanks to all our box poppers tonight, all those who participated, all those who just listened in. We want to thank you. And until we do it again, we now go to the letter for the night. Dear Real Talk, how are you guys doing? I need a little advice and I'm just wondering, what's your, listening, what's your listener's view on my situation? Here goes. There's a saying that old habits are hard to die and I'm thinking what happens when it's a new habit? I've been doing my best to be faithful as basically I have one girl for nine months now, Good which is a first for me. Congratulations, sir. Good yes. youth. Would you believe that I've never forced myself onto a woman no. while I'm in a relationship? No, it's always been in. I. Uh, it's always been in situations where I make it clear my status, yes. and the other women are willing to work with it. Of course. And I simply make myself available. Yes, yes. Oh, Jesus, he's so cocky and pompous. No. Women won't accept this, but I See? don't think men like me are cheaters, no. but are facilitators yeah. because women do choose whom they want to share their bodies with. Yes, you agree with that, right? Currently, <laughs> what I have to do <laughs> is to remain committed to one woman. Yes. Is to be as transparent as possible, yes. I guess, to that one woman, yeah? Yes. I tell her about the past mm -hmm. and let her know what a woman is, when a woman is coming on to me. Mm -hmm. But lately, I find her to be getting a bit annoying and mm. want more frequent information. Cleared style. I think she doesn't trust me. My love, oh. <laughs> you expect her to? Of course. I can't be in peace. Mm -hmm. Isn't this a case of damned if you do and damned if you don't? Yep. Women are too complex. Mm. I've been tempted to touch yes. so many times and I just chill. Yeah. Only once I mind, I, only once I might sex a girl while sorting out moms. Huh? Yeah. <sighs> How can I curtail my woman? This is new to me. So hold on. Mm -hmm. He says, I've been tempted to touch so many times and I just chill. Yeah. So up at the top, when him facilitate. That was before moms. Was it? That's what he's saying. I didn't get that. that, that's, that that's previous to nine months ago. I didn't get that. You didn't Would want you believe to get that? that I've never told, forced myself onto a woman while I'm in a relationship? Mm. It's always been in a case where I make it clear my status and other women are willing to work with it yes. and I simply make myself available yes so from that I'm gathering that while he was with moms no. he never cheated as he puts it he just made himself available because no. when he was with mom no. whether he was with moms or not women would have found him attractive 
No, yes. And would have wanted to be with him nevertheless. He said that. And he would have told them his status. So with moms, he did tell them his status. Right, but... And he still just facilitated them all who came along. Accusation. So why is it that now you... Circumstantial evidence. Circumstantial evidence is not even there. I'm 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 not even sure what is the problem. What is his problem? Please, tell me his problem. A woman get a nine and you want to go easy, Bill, cause, because right now me I go easy. And why has she gotten annoying? What made this normal f- woman who wasn't annoying before, just all of a <laughs> sudden became annoying? You tell me. I know women are from Venus. I know. And I know sometimes our estrogens will go sky high and we do crazy things. I know. You know. You know. I know. You think that's, but, you, you think that's acceptable? Let's, let's not go there. Let's not go there. Because when you men go around and run around like, like, like chickens all over the place, it, it's not acceptable. And you still do it. Okay? All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, my, my point is, if, if it is that she did not see and recognize certain behavioral habits, because guess what? When men change our women change, you know, the other party knows, you know. We see it. We're not mm-hmm. fools. Right? When there's a change in something... We see it. So but something he, must but, have but, happened but, but, but why this woman... He must say him change. Yeah, but... If, nine months now him change. If he had changed for the better, what could be causing her to be annoying, as he puts it? I tell her about the past. Yeah. And lets her know when a woman is coming on to me. Right. But lately I find her... Um, I find her to be getting a bit annoying and want more frequent. So you see, I'm smart. I'm smart to the point where I <laughs> tell her what I think she want to hear and what she want to know. But woman a fool, woman knows it. A paranoid. Paranoia. Woman knows a man in name. So the possibility exists for him to be telling me a part of the information and omitting the other part. So you say paranoia. Because all of a sudden, oh, women like me and this woman is coming on to me, but oh, I'm not interested in them. And you I only are, have eyes for it. one woman. Right. Yeah, yada, 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 whatever. <sighs> so she knows and she probably picks up that he could very well be having somebody could. else out there. Could. Could. C-U-D. Could. The coast is clear. That's right. C-U-D. Is that the word? <laughs> <laughs> Listen. I just think that he's doing... There's more to the letter. He's doing... And it's very short, might I add. He's doing more. <laughs> that The more was omitted. He's doing enough <laughs> to make her feel insecure. Deliberately. And as a, as, a, as a result of that, she becomes annoying. No, wants to know. Okay, Minute. so women like you everywhere you go and all of a sudden, yeah? Every now, every now and again, there are women who are coming at you. What do you do? How do you react? And if so, how is it that you come in so late every night after three the next morning? Where did you get two? that? Yeah? Why is it that you're never really home with me and the kids? Lord help her. No, I'm just saying, women are you're not You're saying stupid. too much. You're being, you're being like her. I'm being, you're being, I'm being realistic. You're being annoying. I'm being realistic. Right now, right now Cassidy, we feel like me I do something with me now do nothing. I'm right here beside Cleo. I'm a feel like me I do something. Sweetie? Currently, yes, what I have to do is to remain committed to one woman. You know what that says to me? And no. be as transparent. Hold on, man. Hold on. Hold on. Currently. Right. right now. Right now. I'm going to just cover my tracks. No. No, no, no. <laughs> all I got to do is to cover my tracks. Where you get all of that from? Ladies out there, please call it. Call me. Text L- me. Ladies, do not call me. The lady I met at the, at, the, at the salon last weekend. I don't remember her name. I don't want none of y'all please. to miss it. Because, Text listen. me. People. Text me and tell me. No, don't. If this man telling me that women don't accept, women won't accept this, yeah. but I think men are, like me, are not cheaters. No. He's so full of himself. He facilitates. Yes. And he facilitates so much that currently all he has to do in order, in order, in order yeah, to remain, is just to remain committed. Committed should be in, in quotations. Like, hello? Uh-huh. committed to one woman and and is to be as transparent as possible. You know what transparency mean? You do things that when people look on, whatever no, you're doing, no, hold no, on, no, no, hold no, on, no. whatever you've done, I don't like where you're going with this. whatever you've done and whatever you've said and however you act, people can look on and say, no man, this man is an, that is an honest man. Oh, of course. 
Tyler Ooh, Murray would not do that because I see Aye. where this evidence is there that you he know, is not finally, doing so and so. So, so. so what he's doing, yeah, some men out there who are cheaters, you know. No, facilitators. So Come they, on, man. They facilitate cheating so Come much. No, 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 no. They facilitate cheating so much that they are good at it. No. That the woman at home would have never get any clue at all that they are cheating. They are great facilitators. <coughs> we have a caller on Dan Dan on the 954. Do you agree with me, Dan Dan? Hey, clear. Do you agree with the, me, Dan the Dan? The virgin, I share, share with the sister in the middle this message that, look, <laughs> man, we blink, man, we walk with blinkers, you know? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, man of, a, man of a always see. It's not that they're looking, they're going to see. Yes. All right. And in, in their seeing, <clears throat> um, they're going to be. Also. They're going to be what? <clears throat> Dan Dan, are you still there? Yeah, well, you're not hearing me. No, we didn't hear the last part. They're going to see. Uh, that's all we heard. No, yeah. I'm going to walk and I'm going to see. They're not going to look, but they're going to see. That's and natural. And, and, and by the same token, they're going to be seen. <clears throat> yes. By, by, by other women. Right. You, you, you're a virgin, so he's not forcing himself to nobody. You know? None at all. He facilitates them when they come along. In other words, yeah, he's a, he's a medium. <laughs> whatever Dan Dan, yeah. whatever. <laughs> so what's going to cause him, what will cause him to stop being, what will, <laughs> what did he say the, the man is, a what? A facilitator. A facilitator. He said something, he's a medium. Yes, the medium. So what will stop him from being a medium now? By being transparent, that's what he's what saying. What will stop him from being a medium to other women because he has this particular girl? What will stop him? Yeah, but... <laughs> But, but what would stop him? No, yes. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying my, he's seeking to stop to it. I mean, I mean That's the that. point. And Daddy would be saying no, he's not. And I'm saying he's still out there facilitating all these other women that he wants to facilitate. The point, what all he's right. doing now to cover Cleo. his tracks is to remain like he's not doing anything to the woman at home. All right, Cleo. O over the years, you know, you've always seemed to suggest that you rather know. Well, go on rather than be surprised. Me rather it. know. Me rather know. No. Sorry. So, you know, that the, the bridge not telling you. The bridge, the bridge not I, I tell you. No. So, 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 I tell rather than know and the bridge not tell you. So, what, but so, what I'm saying is, why is he pretending as if the woman is up? The woman is the one who's a problem. He's the problem. No. Because we all no. know he's doing stuff, but then he's pretending as if he's not. No, and no, then talking no, about women pretending. are complex. They make women complex. You men make women complex. No, what? clear, clear. Well, 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 what he said, if you tell a woman, say, look, I have man that woman. So, but what, he, what he's suggesting is that maybe that in itself is a, um, how should I put it now? It, 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 it's like it creates some intrigue about him. And because he has that intrigue, mystique about him, other women ever want to try and unravel it or solve it. Yeah, but don't expect them not to. Because we know what but, men are, okay. are capable of. Okay. The same way you will but, say, you know what we are capable of. So okay. the point so is, he, we know that, in base, and this woman knows the man she's with, no doubt. So when I'm coming to behave like the woman at home is the problem because she wants to know more. The point is, he has to remain transparent so he can't afford to give anything more. So he's put, she's putting pressure on him, and it's making him so uncomfortable. So we aren't the problem. No. He is the problem. No, 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 really get that, that he's uncomfortable. No, no, no. It's not he, if he's it's complaining that she's annoying, come on, he's becoming a little bit edgy about the situation. She's asking too no. many questions. Yeah, but, but look here. Men don't really want to feel like, a, like I'm a deal, like FBI person, you know. Repeat that. Come on. No, man. Which man you know what, what, what deal with somebody from the CIA or the FBI? No. Yes, most you know. men wouldn't. And I've been called CIA, by the way, and FBI, but I'm proud of it. Um, mm. which, which, which woman wouldn't want to analyze the man that she's with to see what he's really made yeah, up yeah, of? But, 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 but she'd have to ask all them intimate questions to answer. And you, you, you can analyze that without that. Hey, really? you never ask a woman, but you can't, you can't analyze a woman um, very easy, you know. 
So men can so women can do the same thing. Let me tell you what four eight eight says on the text line. Dan Dan want a broad board, board facilitator. Where is it? I want a broad broad? A broad board. Oh, oh, I thought you meant a broad girl. <laughs> uh, okay. A broad board, my love. Like I said two well, more than two before. Oh I see. Yes. No man, but 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 clear that look here. You know, over the years, when I try to do them, I try to show them that as women, women don't really need to get upset with 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 what a man projects, you know. Because a look, a man is going to be a man, you know. You, you, no matter what happens, he's not going to change his stripe anytime soon. Oh. So now it it is it is how it is how it is how you folks deal deal with men. No, dear. No, 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 no. Stop right there, sir. Uh, uh. Okay. You men need to know how to deal with us. And the, oh, the, the, the little, oh, the little thing okay, about I'm this sorry. one, him, to, oh, is that I'm so, him so sneaky. Oh. How can I? How can I get that so wrong? Yes, you got it wrong. This man is so sneaky before that he's trying his sure best. How could I get it so wrong? To have his Someone cake and eat think. it by being transparent. Yeah, <laughs> he's having his cake and eating it because he knows that if he ever. Not maintain that level of transparency. Dog now himself at home, so he's doing his Why? best to do that. You mean I, you mean I, 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 an enigma. When when the man is is, is so secretive, Aye. you know, when they do ask about thing, when they phone at you about another man, the day the day but when no, you men just is. start to accept whatever women they show you, you know. Then you can tell us women to do the same. Until then, my love. Look Until up, then. Look what man says. So, 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 so which do you prefer? You prefer to the man to be transparent and spill all the beans or, or to be secretive and you find out all the beans? Which do you I don't want to find out anything. I want him to tell me what's going on. <laughs> then the man tell you transparent. Oh, please. But, but, but you are saying the man are cover tracks. He's covering up. No, nah, man. He's paranoid, He's doing things man. and he's pretending woman, as if the, he's the woman, not. The woman and he's nine. trying to cover up. Odisha says, I agree with Cleo. He's trying to Cleo, cover his the man, tracks. The man now nah, leave nothing to imagination. He must he 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 show him hand. Man says the woman <laughs> paro. He must <laughs> paro. I must show him hand. <laughs> oh boy. My God. All right, Dan, Dan. Thanks for checking in tonight. Um, Winsome, let's see what Winsome says, Cassidy. My, 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 I was about to say my stepmom. My godmother. Yes, my godmom. <laughs> Good night, goddaughter. You see, I told you. Hi, moms. How you doing? Hmm. Just tune in. All right, Winsome from Pear Tree River. That was earlier out in the night. Um, so this guy is questioning um only once i might sex a girl you hear that no 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 not say might it's a mind sex you know when you have sex with a woman and you think about the next woman because he's been doing with doing it with other women before that's why he's no, been thinking about purge, them my purge purge you understand know? because you, 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 you not do it physically you, know what, no. you ever watch the movie purge no but it's like well, i think well, I, no, a movie not really they have guns in it <laughs> I think I get some the of you picture. men need some purging. <laughs> have a caller on the four five three. Good night, caller. Dry cry, but who cares? <laughs> Man, it's but my heart cries, but no fear. I don't. No one is to that. blame Try but yeah. myself. <laughs> can't tell you go, can't tell you to stay. Hey, just one of those it's days. One of those days. What's up, Bright Eye? Yeah. What's going on? How you doing? Well, I'm here, you know. Now listen, you are talking about this show. Wait, 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 woman, this show, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't must hear that part there. You mustn't talk about nothing about the shows, you know. You stop talking about the shows, you know, because, boy, I tell you, <laughs> you have a platter full to get the ladies out there. Your platter is very full, so don't talk about the show anything. Eh? Uh-huh. What are you asking tonight now? How old was that girl that that guy um, was dating? Along, along with. I'm not sure the age. We didn't get the age factor. And how old is the guy? Don't know. But I presume they are probably in their early 30s. Okay, well, um, the advice I will give to that guy, you see? Mm hmm. Then you can't leave my man, let me on his fire. Let me, let me teach him the ropes. You know? Oh my god, I, I I would ask him to run far from you. <laughs> yeah, man. He come, yeah, he come give me a link, man. You understand me? So, what would you tell him to do? Tell us, though. Yeah, man. He um, needs some. some he needs some, some, some. He needs coaching. Eh? He needs coaching. 
Yeah, man. So tell me an example of what you, what you would tell him to do. That um dry, bright, bright yeah, eye. dry, yeah, bright, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, bright eye, yeah, man. Um, yes. First, he must to himself that don't make a woman rule him. Mm hmm. Uh, he man, he man, you know, man. You understand me? Yeah. Yeah, that him has said the thing, and the woman has said the thing. Oh. Let me ask a question. Your feet are insured that makes you know what I go on for him? Eh? Your feet are insured that makes you know what I go on for him, so other woman like him off out of the road, eh? No, sir. Big mistake. Yeah, man. Real talk. Yeah, man. You can't make the, uh, uh, the woman know, sir. You, 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 you get that weak to the woman, man. You know what I mean? So. So, 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 bright eye. Yeah, man. I don't when, think, uh, when men are road check, she doesn't tell me anything neither. What again? When, when, when men are road check her out all the time, she shouldn't tell him anything. She, she tell him? Yes. Yeah, man. Eh, you know what? <laughs> you know what? What do you mean, man? So why him want to know when men check she out, but she can't know when men check him out, when women check him out? Why? why? Tell me why, Bright Eye. When I'm going to check her around, you know, she will make the nose, boy. No. Put up, put up, Bright Eye. No, no. Him don't need to know. Nobody nothing know. Bright eye, nobody nothing know. So the man I check her out. Different <laughs> men like her. She's intrigued. They're intrigued by her. She don't have to come, come tell him the same way. Him not have to tell she. But she had to tell him for bright eye. I went to come home to say, hey, bright eye, you know, so I'm going to get up on the road today. I want to look at my name, Daddy Roo. So she must tell you, but you can't tell she. Yeah. You and Dan Dan need broad board together. Yeah, man, but they you were there, young to it, man. I'm, 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 first, in this, uh, I'm first experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, 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 I'm first experience with have a one woman, you know? I'm try out something. Yeah. But I'm a fail, though. Yeah, I tell him to call me, my man, I'm roll, man, yeah? All right, we're done. Who want to wrap up early, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to that, man. Yeah, big up yourself, right, bright, yeah, every time. Be safe on the roads, all right? All right, so we are going to wrap up out of here quickly right about now. We're going to go to the text line quickly first, though. Gracie says, Cleo, how you fi fix up bright, yeah, we done, done. <laughs> no, I'm saying in this case, they told them one piece of board, right? Yeah, in a, in a situation, in a particular situation. I um, don't agree with. I don't agree with that. What you don't like for yourself, don't give to others. Thank you very much, Winsome. That's the point I was getting at, and he brought it out. Yes, transparency right there from, from Bright Eye. Yeah. True. <laughs> um, Odette says, well, the, okay, the we read that one already. Yeah. Yes, King Mitchell was up, up on on um big ups to yeah, man. Mitchell as well, and to Sadie and all the other persons who text in tonight. Big up yourself, all everybody. Right. Until next week. Until next week, and don't know the things that are ready. Chichi did make a request. Oh yes, Chichi. If you're still up, I, I think you're up. The girls will tell you, though. This is your song, and big ups to all the Gagamel fans out there. Love Bujo. And yeah, we're every sign time. Out. We're signing out, sign out for the night. A man in me and Lady Claire, we're going to be at Somerset Falls poolside at the breakfast party for the Paradise Weekend. You know, so we're going to be at the outside broadcast doing our thing right there. And, you know, we're going to have a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So, people, big up on yourself. Listen to us from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. in the morning. And all of the Boji Bantan fans, them, and they don't know the things yeah. that are tuning in. And big up my wife for life and all of my people, them. Until Who next know? week, guys. Bye bye. Take care.